good? Yep. All right, Shalom. 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 You know, first and foremost, like always, want to start off by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashim Rukah Ha'gash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone who rule well. And salutations to all you, I can push his worth in truth and sincerity. You know, we the Hebrew Israelites, we come week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up our people, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man, which consists of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, which in these latter days are remembering themselves in the land of their captivity, man. You see, we're coming to a time where we're, uh, you know, basically unfolding the last, uh, uh, you know, chapter of the Heavenly Father's story, man. You know, we are about to get out of here, man. So within this parameter, oh man, of, of where we're at, hey, there's going to come certain things that will let you know, hey, you know what? We're in these times, man. And that's ultimately what we're seeing right now with all these uppers of the people, you know, the, the protests, you know, the spirit of prophecy is unfolding on the planet, man. You see the chariot sightings, right? And us ourselves, man, we're living, we're, we're living prophecy right here. You know, us coming out to the highways and byways, man, we're fulfilling the prophecies of the latter, of the latter days. You see, yeah, I wish I said that, you know, uh, he, he told uh, John, right, in, in Revelation, he told him, thou shall do, thou shall sit, thou shall prophesy again uh, uh, to, to many people and many nations, man. And that's basically what's happening all over again, man. The Lord's putting his spirit on his prophets to come out here and, and teach the people, man, who they are. All right. And also to, to bring a uh, 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 judgment, you know, the foretold judgment of the Heavenly Father, man, and let you know, let the people know what times we're in. All right. So let's get with that, bro. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse one. He answered, says, "He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself.'" So we're measuring it, right? What are we using as a measuring tool, man? A measuring tool. I mean, the Bible, you know, the scriptures, man, the prophecies, right? The things that were written before, since since the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, the Heavenly Father, when He wrote this book, man, when He gave the blueprint to Yahweh Shai, everything was laid out: the beginning, the middle, the end. Now we're at that point where we're at the end, man, and the signs are showing. Because the scripture right here, so like the scriptures in Second Ezra is going to go into, <coughs> how, you know, the end it manifests itself through signs and, and, and wonders, man. And these are the things that are happening right now on the planet Earth, man. Just the Earth being in the condition that it is in, man. You know, uh, it, it, it should let you know, man, that there's something wrong with, with just the whole creation, the things how how things are being done. You know, that's why Proverbs the 29th chapter, man, says that what? You know, when the wicked are in authority, the people uh, are born. But when the righteous bear fruit, the people rejoice, man. And that's what's going to come to pass. Uh, switching power, man. You know, from the wicked, handing power, power being taken from them and given to the righteous, man. Okay, with our king being set over us. You know, uh, Amos the 9th chapter, man. You know, King David coming with the house of David being built up. You see, that's why we always say this is a very spiritual thing that's happening. These souls that were with David, man, are being gathered once again to come and do what they've been doing. What they always did, man, was to stand with Yahweh Bashem and Yahweh Shai. Yeah, brother, Get that you said, you said uh, measure the time to the scripture says, man. And we use, we use the prophecies of the scriptures to measure the times, man. And that was prophesied in the book of Daniel. The, the book of Daniel said that the things are going to be sealed, the understanding of the going to be sealed to the time of the end. I'm going to go ahead and get that. This is Daniel 12 and 4. This is what Daniel, Daniel shut up the words and sealed the books. So at that time, there was no understanding of the prophecies, man. There was no understanding of what's going to happen at the end of the day. They had, they had a, 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 a idea of it, but they didn't have the full understanding of it like we have today in this time and age. They were given to the false and others a great miracle. So what Daniel, Daniel shut up the words and sealed the books, even to the time of the, of the end, Many shall go to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And part of that knowledge will be increased, our understanding of the scriptures, man, and the fulfillment of prophecy that the Lord said. I was standing out here with the so called black and Native American man of the Lord said, Now his fulfillment of prophecy, man. That, that, that's the fulfillment of things to come. That, that tells you that we're that much closer to Yahweh Shai coming back and bringing help in place. Because in, in the book of Proverbs, it says that uh, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. And, and right now, this whole world is in, in a state of false balance. It's fucking topsy turvy, man. It also said in the book of Psalms that, that uh, the, 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 this, place, this place is out of course. So it's, it's off the hinges, man. You know, you got you got the woman over the man. You, know, you, you got you got these, these devils running the show, man. You, you got these uh these, these these hotel motels and these trans transformers. You got them out here running the muck, man. You know what I'm saying? So things are completely out of balance, man. You know so. This is the time of the end where the most side is going to bring everything back into righteousness, man. Go ahead, bro. Con, and that's what's happening. And, and you know, you, you mentioned the seals, man, and it's all due to Yahweh Shai, his sacrifice that we were able to go into this book, into this mystery. 
Yo, get that real quick, brother. Yeah, come on. This is uh, Revelation chapter 5 and uh, verse 5. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold. Uh, and why was why was he weeping? <clears throat> you know, because no one was worthy. The, the, get the verse on top, bro. Yeah, yeah, come on, bro. Uh, you know what? Because that that basically capitalizes the importance of Yahweh Shar, man. Because yeah. now, because of him, we're able to come to the Father, man. You know, him being the the, uh, the, the counselor. You know, the, the basically the lawyer. You know, doing uh, the, the spiritual transaction between us and the Heavenly Father, man. It all goes through Yahweh Shar. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, come Revelations 5 and 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And that's the understanding of the Bible, man, the scriptures. You know, because they always had the scriptures. There's never been a period of time where the scriptures weren't there, man. But the understanding of it, the complete understanding, wasn't out there, man, because the Lord, you know, sealed it like we read in Daniel's uh what, what chapter were you? Yeah. Daniel's, right? Yeah, Daniel's four chapter. Yeah, Khan, that, that seal that was sealed, man, which is this understanding. You know, because it was taken from the earth, man, to a due season, a due time. You know, we could get that too, uh, you know, some, uh, I can't think about it. Right I'll, I'll get it from uh, Get that real quick. Right. Uh, Revelation 5, verse 2. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming. With so like, second measure 6, bro, uh, the parting asunder of the time. Uh, it says, uh, verse, it's like Revelation 5 and 2. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And, not that the book was, like I said, not that it was physically there, but the understanding, man, you know, the wisdom on how to uh, navigate through the scriptures wasn't there. Uh, verse four, <laughs> and I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book. Worthy neither to open it, like you know, we've been saying, man. You know, so that's why it's a, it's a, a Yahweh which is going to go into so worthy, yeah. man. Because of, through him, you know, like we said, we always do give glory to Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Because, you know, that's how we were able to be delivered, man. Uh, it says, uh, no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. And that's it, man. And that was the Ahawah Shai uh, getting the understanding, man, you know, what was foretold to happen. And that's why uh, when Yahweh Shai came down, the only thing that's not given to Yahweh Shai, right, right, is the period, the time, the exact moment when it's going to happen. Only the Father knows that, man. But everything else, you know, has been given. I, I got one real quick, because you had mentioned that we've always had the scriptures, right? And and and, uh, and, and it was taken from us. You know, scripture so say, uh, you shall dis discontinue from my inheritance. So for our disobedience, what happened is the Lord took away the understanding that we're the Israelites, that we're the sons of the Most High. But it says here, Romans 16 and 25, Now to him that is a power to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Yahweh Shai, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, but now is made manifest and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the everlasting power made known to all nations for the obedience of faith. So basically it's telling you right here that the complete uh, uh, revelation is kept secret, but it's made manifest the entirety. The understanding of these uh, of the prophets is now being made manifest right now for the obedience of all the elections throughout the world, man. That, that, that's that's what uh, you know is happening right now up on the earth. And that that's that's because, like the brother said, that's because the Amish has he has broken those seals, man. Mm -hmm. Going uh, back to what you mentioned, uh, Daniel the 12th chapter, which was 24, which which that that seal was until the time of the earth. Man. This is uh, John 15 and 15. This is the word of Yahweh Shai. It says, Henceforth I call you not servants, mm -hmm. for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father have made known unto you. And that's what he's doing in this day and age, man. You know, that, that's, that's Yahweh Shai suffering with you, man. When he's, when he's sending the Holy Spirit to give you an understanding of his book, you know, to, to, give, to lead you to the proper teachers, man. So the scripture said that your teachers not shall be hidden in the corner anymore, man. So right now this truth is out in the open, man. So that's why we're able to understand this book. We're, we're able to measure the time. Timothy, going back to second the ninth chapter, man. We're able to do all these things because the Holy Spirit is upon men to teach this word, man. Go ahead, bro. And that's how we're able to foretell you and, and give you the tools that you're going to need to hide yourself from these terrible things that are coming to the earth, man. 
You know, if you don't know, if you don't have the understanding of Revelation 13 and 16, man, it's a crucial time right now to have the understanding, the correct understanding. You know, not, not those not those cans that are, are are playing around with the word of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, they're playing around with with with, with blood, man. You see, because now you know you got the technology unfolding. Now you got you know the 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 economic system you see being implemented by all these major nations, man. All right, so this 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 uh this B system, man, is unfolding right now. You know, and that's what we have the vision and understanding to even know. And that's that's part of what Yahweh Shai got, man. He got the the understanding of what was to come. Because what is Yahweh? Get that uh, Revelation 19 and 10 real quick, bro. Because what is Yahweh Shai, man? He is the spirit of prophecy, man. You know, Yahweh Shai comes in the bottom of the book. Everything that was written, you know, was preparing the way for Yahweh Shai to come and do what he's going to do in these latter days, man. You know, which is what to bring, you know, nations into subjection. What it say? Uh, to I make thy enemies a footstool, man. Right. Hey, that's that's the the whole plan of this whole thing, man. That's right. For the Lord to set His Son up mm -hmm. as the ruler of the, of the universe, man, of the of everything. You know? uh, Go ahead, bro. Uh, Book of Revelation, chapter nineteen, verse ten. And I fell at His feet to worship Him, and He said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren yep. that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. That's what we have, right? We have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. The, the, you know, the understanding of him. You know, right? It says, worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Hey, where is this world? What, what is this world teacher, man? That, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai, or who they call Jesus, he, he's the spirit of love, of emotion. Nah, man. Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. Because that's what he's coming to. Uh, what did he say? Uh, I, am, I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill, man. Because, hey, yeah, that's what he's doing. You know, every everything that Yahweh Shai did when he walked the earth, man, was fulfilling prophecy. That's why throughout the gospel it said, here it is, here it is fulfilled, where it was said in Isaiah or, you know, different books that, that foretold our, our, our Messiah's coming, man. You know? We said, come. Uh, Amos 3 and 8, because you're talking about Yahweh Shai, you said it's an important time to understand uh, the MOTB. Because if you don't understand that, you're going to uh, going to receive the consequence in the presence of the Lamb, as well as his angels, all right? This is Amos 3 and 8. It says, the lion, the lion will roar, who will not fear? We're talking about the lion, we're talking about the Yahweh Shai, man, he will roar, man. Now, when he roars, what's that going into? He says, think not that it come to bring peace, man. So when he roars, he's coming down to get busy. Who will not fear? The Lord hath spoken, who can but prophesy? Beautiful, who can but prophesy, man. Hey, being that Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, man. Now, that's what the Lord uh, uh, sent forth man, especially in these latter days. Before the Lord getting ready to do judgment to any nation, what did he do? He sent forth prophets, man. Jeremiah, who did he, what did he do? He prophesied the downfall of, of Israel in, in the hands of Babylon, right? And, and he prophesied the captivity that was to come. So, hey, we're doing the same thing all over again, man. Just with a different nation, a different kingdom. You know, which is the last kingdom... That, that should rule before the Israelites get eternal uh, 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 dominion of the earth, man. Before Yahweh Shai gets eternal dominion, you know, which will be the the, the the feet, you know, mixed with iron and clay, man, which represents the system of Esau, man. You know, partly strong, partly weak. You know, the EU, the NATO, the beast. You see, this is the system, the system that's dictating the the laws of the world, man. Okay, the, the, this is the system that's basically enslaving nations, man, through their central banks, the IMF loans. Okay, that's why they'll kill any leader that that, that uh, opposes their country basically becoming in debt with these nations. That's what Habakkuk talked about, bro, where they're uh, laying himself with thick clay. That's basically he lay himself with debt because with debt, he rules the earth, man. That's what he does. That's that's the uh, MO that he practices when he wants to take over a nation. Because like Habakkuk says uh, in the second chapter, uh, uh, he, he, he is not satisfied, man. He is as death. You know, so wherever he goes throughout the earth, man, this, that's what he brings with him. He brings decay. We always go into how, you know, all the nations that he invaded, man, in the last, what, 30 years. Look at those nations prior to those, uh, them being invaded. Mm -hmm. they, they were prospering, bro. They were making uh, 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 America look like a third world country. They were they had nice nice roads. They have free health care. They have free uh, school. I think Libya. Libya is a good example. Yep, yep. Gaddafi, he had his people living good, man. He, he was trying a, to establish his own monetary system. Uh, yeah, they're living. That's why they killed him. You, know, and, 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 you can't go against you can't go against uh, uh, these 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 Rothschilds, man. These bankers, you know, you go against them, they, they put you out, man. You know that's why that's like the brother said that's, that's what people talk about. You know they want to put everybody into the into debt, man. They want they they uh, pollute everybody with their minds, with their philosophies, man. And part of the philosophy is living in a, in a 
in a society where you're always in debt, man. You know, subject to payments, man. That's what they want for the whole fucking world. That that's what that that uh that uh C that C hip's all about, man. They they want you they want you enslaved. They want you indebted to debt forever, mm -hmm. man. Go ahead, brother. If I may say it's it's a modern day slavery. That's right. You see, because they, they knew that they couldn't always have us in physical chains because they're always hiding behind a a facade of, 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 of benevolence and greatness when in reality they are the devil that the Bible speaks of. And if I'm not mistaken, the last two uh, countries that have um, their own banks is, is I want to say, Iran and North Korea. You know, so so it's, it's, it's not, they've, they've knocked uh, countries out of their list. You know, Libya being one, Iraq, Saudi Arabia. There's no, there, there's no weapons of mass destruction with, you know, and all these different things, the, the Twin Towers and that stuff was just, that was all, you know, just set up so that they can go into those countries and, and infiltrate and take over the money. And once they get over the money system, but there was a guy who did a quote, I care not uh, who makes the laws, but uh, roughly paraphrasing, give me give me uh, control of the money system and they can control the nation. So, the, so you know, these are the ones who the Bible spoke, uh, spoke about that their portion is in this life. You see? And there's another quote that says, uh, the gold, uh, I don't care about the golden rule, something like that. Yeah. You have to, yeah, he who has the gold makes yeah, the rule. That's right. Yeah. It's true. You know, they, 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 uh, that's why they, in the 1800s, 1900s, they took control of the economy of the earth, man. You know, in the form of usury. You know, the practices that we see uh, being uh, uh, employed on our people day to day, man. You, know, you go to the bank. You, hey, you can't get a loan at the bank, man. If you're a Jake. You know, for most of us, you know, if you want to start a business, you have a good idea. It's almost nearly impossible for you to get the funding for it, man, because we're under the curses, and basically our enemy ain't gonna ain't gonna give us a lending help, man. Yeah, because you, you gotta you gotta have collateral, man. Yeah. You, you gotta have ownership of, of ownership of something. You gotta have you gotta you gotta prove that you have ownership of something, man. And what does Jake really have ownership of in this society, man? Yes. Not a damn thing. Yes. You better, he better, you barely own the clothes on your back, bro. Yeah. You know, saying so you drive a fancy car, you you don't know, like the brother brought up last week. You don't own that car, man. You make payments on that car. Man. Hey, if anything, he'll take you to a room, hear your whole plan out, and then not give you the loan, even though it's a good plan, and then he'll yeah. use it for himself. Yeah. Hey, they're, they're known for to do that, man. A lot of these uh, uh, famous uh, toy companies, they got their ideas from stealing them from your day-to-day -day, uh, average Joe's, man. You know, if you go into the, the deep history of the yeah, They brought out the idea, companies. they, they just tweak it a little bit. They tweak it a little so bit. So they won't be exactly the same. That's but what patent law goes all into, man. After so many years, you know, you could patent your design, but after so many years, that pattern goes away, man, and now everybody try to create, recreate what you created, man. So you you really own shit in this society, yeah. man. You know this this is this is a fucking uh, it's a scam, man. Yeah. Where you know like we all, we've been saying for the past few weeks, only Esau benefits, man. Mm -hmm. It's like a revolving circle, and he's always getting paid. That's right. He gets paid for for uh, uh, the, you know the, check it out. He gives you bad food, right? He creates the problem, and then he he uh, gives you the so-called solution. So he's getting paid in every uh, every avenue, man. You know, he, well, he makes money everywhere. That's he not because he was he was he was given the status of the earth, man. You know, so so he's gonna he's gonna benefit off off off, off your labor, off your off your backs, man, because that's his blessing. He has to live out his blessing. You know, just like we're gonna live out our blessing in the time to come, man. I, I got this quote. Um, I found it. It's um, by Mayor Amstel Bauer Rothschild. It says, "Give me control of a nation's money." And I care not who makes its laws. It tells you right there. Yeah, because ultimately you control the laws, bro. You know, you use these, uh, what do they call super PAC groups, you know, that fund a lot of these politicians and shit. Yeah. That's why they don't make laws against, you know, uh, creating vehicles with water, man. That's why they make it so uh, impossible in the form of what, taxes and not giving them the, what's that word, a subsidies or some shit like that? Where they will basically deduct money and, and give you a tax break, you know, for doing something, man. All these are offered to these major corporations, man, because mm -hmm. they keep the money up high, man. They don't let the money spread regardless. And they keep that way up there, man. You know, that's 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 on point. Cause it, go ahead and get that real quick. Right? They be calling themselves what nonprofit organizations. Yes. You know what I mean? Which which basically like it, it, it like gives them like the ability to like make money without having to like like pay taxes or something to that effect, man. You know? Yeah, he still has a lot of loopholes. You know, that's why. Hey, the tax man, that's why uh, these re super rich, you know, really don't pay taxes, even though they should be paying the, the biggest portion of it. They, well, they, 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 they control, control and make the tax laws, bro. Yeah. You know, uh, there was a thing I saw about Trump. He was criticizing the, the whole tax system. He said that it was crooked. And they said, how do you know it's crooked? Because, because I use it. You know what I'm saying? So, because he knew, he knew how to play the game, man. 
you know, you, you, you know how to, you know how to uh, do his finances and his taxes so that he benefited, man, because the rich benefit off that. Okay. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am. See, that's Esau, man. No, that's Esau for you, man. Yeah, and that's why we go into being oppressed in the society. You know, oppression makes the wise man mad. Once you really understand how things go on, man, and that's part of this truth, man. It's not just understanding uh, uh, that you're an Israelite, man. It's understanding the you know, grand scheme of things. Because okay? we're being prepared to be the, the future rulers of the earth, man. We're going to have to understand the geopolitical situation, things of that nature. This is going to be our job, you know, as rulers, uh, sovereign rulers, man, of a nation to dictate laws and things of that nature. That's what the Heavenly Father is going to do with us, man. He's going to put us in a very, very, very high position. And it starts right now. You know, that's why I, I love all that, man. I love the getting into how, you know, decisions be made and all that because it, it gives you uh, an understanding of why these laws are happening man and why the heavenly father uh, did things the way that he did things you know why the laws are in place bro because it creates a, a order within within the society i got a question real quick because you said that you know most high willing we build the leg man that we're going to be the ones mandating and governing the world system man, or the, the righteous world system mm -hmm. this is psalms uh two and ten it says be wise now therefore all ye kings he instructed the judges of the earth. Serve the Most High with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son that just talk about Yahweh Shai, lest he be angry and you perish from the way where his wrath is kindled with a little blessed or our day that put their trust in him. Okay, hey, the Lord's building up the rulers first, man. You know, the people that are going to, uh, the elect. That's why he has shown it uh, as a mystery right now. And only the elect are coming in and getting the knowledge. The understanding, man. Hey, because this is the knowledge we're going to apply in, 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 in the kingdom, man. Right, right. The mindset that we have right now when we in this truth and we teach in the spirit of Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that's how we're always going to be in the truth and, and when we're in our kingdom, man. Right. Ain't going to have no downtime. We ain't going to have none of that. We're going to be highly spiritual at all times, man, because we're going to be in the new bodies. You know what I mean? We can only kind of tell you a little bit in part, you know, because we know in part, but, you know, we're going to be connected in, in, in the way that we can't even phantom right now, man. You know, we're not gonna go off, brothers. You know, we're not gonna die. You know, just just being in that state, the harmony, bro. You know, because it's, it's all about a, a, a state of mind of being. You know, right here we're in hell. That's all we know. You know, with the Lord, hey, we're gonna have peace. That's why, hey, yeah, how we should be in the the Prince of Peace, man. What do you think he's 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 a uh, that's one of his titles because he's gonna bring it to the earth, of course. But hey, he's bringing it to us right now. Being uh, in the truth, I gotta appreciate the, the, the form of the comforter, you know. Because you, you said that you know, you know, you talk, we're talking about how we're in our righteous state, that we're gonna govern everything righteously and correctly, man. This yeah, is all. Uh, this is wisdom of Solomon uh, 81. It says, Wisdom reaches from one end to another mightily, and sweetly does she order all things, man. So everything's gonna be in proper order, man. Mm -hmm. Everything's gonna be basically perfect, man. Yeah. You know, the ecosystem's gonna be perfect, the, 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 the animals are gonna be perfect. You know, uh, everything, man, the food, the air, the water, everything's going to be to a high level of perfection, man, yeah. to its ultimate state, man. Mm -hmm. Because he was talking about uh, a, a, a cluster of bricks being carried by two men. That, and, hey, there's going to be more perfect than that in the kingdom, man. So that's mm -hmm. what we're looking forward to here, bro. I got one. Like we always say when we talk amongst each other, man, we never really read, read, read in uh, air, real air, you know, hey, real food and things of that nature, man, because everything's polluted, everything's con uh, contaminated, man. And that's what uh, uh, was that uh, Micah two and ten goes into, right? The yeah. but it's how you rest. Yeah. They should destroy you with the sword destruction. Sword destruction. You know, because everything's fucked up in this place, man. And so what does that tell you, man? That tells you that this whole system is set up for your destruction to destroy you, man. You know, the brother was going into, you know, the fast foods and things of that nature. We saw set up the fast foods. He, he, made, he made the fast foods to get you sick. And then he made a faulty uh, healthcare system to, to make you even sicker, man. <laughs> You know, the, the, the position of no value. Mm -hmm. hey, to, keep, to keep you in a prolonged state of, of being sick, bro. That's what they do in the, in the, with the healthcare, man. Yeah. It just keeps you fucking sick. It keeps you hooked on drugs and shit, man. Yeah. Hey, my daughter made an observation the other day. She was like, hey, mom, why, why is it called fries, food, and drugs? Because yeah. she, she found that weird, man. Why would it not just be called pharmacy or anything like that? Nah, man, because hey, that, those are the major de dealers in the world, man. Yeah. You know, they're, they're your, your CVSs, your Walgreens. Now, those are the major pushers of, of, of drugs into the streets, man. Mm -hmm. and that's where you get your what your bike get-ins and all kinds yeah, of shit, yeah, yeah. man. You know? Uh, well, the, there's a there's there's a what you call it a pandemic of this. Um, what is it that oxycodone? That, yeah, oxycodone, man. Who made oxycodone? It, it wasn't Jake on it, it, you know in the barrios and in, in, in the ghettos, man. Yeah. They they made that and every, and, and, every, and it's cheap 
and everybody's getting uh, hooked on that. But I, I got one, brother, because uh, the brother mentioned, um, you know, when you come into the knowledge, that's what the truth does. The truth, uh, it, it gets, us, it's supposed to get us. No, it's getting us ready for rulership. It's, it's, it's you know, uh, there's, there's, there, you know, we're being purged. We're being uh, uh, taught, you know, how to be, how to be, uh, you know, wise. How to be, uh, you know, a uh, 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 people of, of understanding. You know, how to govern ourselves first and foremost. It says. This wisdom of Solomon 6 and 22. If your if your delight be in be then in thrones and scepters, O ye kings of the people. Right? And the scripture said that we should be a nation of, of kings and priests. If we only listen to the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it says, Honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. Okay, it says, um, jumping down to 21st, 24th, but the multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world. Okay. The multitude of the wise is the welfare of the world, and a wise king is the upholding of the people, right? So a wise king is going to uphold the people, but but the scriptures tell you uh, that um, that a foolish king destroys the people. You see, so that's what wisdom is, and that's what the Yahweh Bashem Yahshai uh, requires of us to walk walk in wisdom. Yeah, because uh, that's that's going to keep you from death, right? Isaiah 33, 6, we're always going to say, you know, wisdom and knowledge should be the disability of thy time. All right, so get that real quick, brother. Get those pieces. Yes, sir. You got some people? Go I get this real quick, just kind of go with the point the brother made, man. The importance of understanding the wisdom that's coming out, you know, it's, it's, it leads you to life. The brother was just about to go into it. This is Baruch uh, 3. I'm going to start at verse 9. It says, Hear Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. It says, How happened it, Israel, that thou art in thine enemy's land, that thou art waxing old in a strange country, that thou art defiled with the dead, man? And, and ultimately, we're in this position because what? We went astray from the, the law, statutes, and commandments. You see? We, we went astray from what the Lord commanded of us. It says, That thou art counted with them that go down into the grave. All right? And that's why we got a lot of our people walking around. Uh, you know, American Babylon are great like zombies, man. They, they, they're not waking up to what's going on, man, even though there is a great awakening that's currently taking place. You know, a lot of our people are still being uh, stiff-necked, hard-hearted, you know, and, and not not taking in this wisdom that's going to that's gonna lead them to, to, to life, you know, that gives them an opportunity of salvation. It says, verse 13, For if thou hast walked in, in the way of the Most High, thou should have dwelled in peace forever. It says, learn where is wisdom, where is strength, where is understanding, that thou mayest know also where is length of days and life, where is the light of the eyes and peace, man. So all of these things come with wisdom, man. All of these things come with wisdom because why? When, when you come into this knowledge, okay, you start walking differently. You know, you, you walk differently in the world. You put on a new man, right? So all of these old ways, these evil ways that would have led to destruction and death, then you put those things off, man, and you start living more righteously according to what's written in the scriptures, man, which is going to, hey, what, pro prolong your days, it would be the Lord's will, you see? And that's what Brothers is speaking, man. We, we, we're saying, look, man, we're, we're about to step into a position where we're going to be uh, ruling the world, okay? Where, where, where uh, you know, the law is going to go forth out of Zion, okay? And we're going to be at the head of it under our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and this is the beginning of it. We're coming back into that 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 royal wisdom. Okay, that the that's gonna govern the entire universe. Okay, and that's no small thing. That's why these words are coming out in this time. That's why the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding has been given to certain men to give to the sheep of Yahweh Shimei Hawashai. Okay, so they can come back on a level. Okay, to prepare. This is this is us preparing ourselves to step into that royal that royal priesthood that we're gonna become. Starts with us, right? You know, start every 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 uh, offense that we commit less, that gets us closer to into, into you know, achieving that perfection, man, that All perfect right. state. You know, even though we're not gonna receive it right here with this body, it just all goes into that. You know, this uh, this uh, uh, wicked body, you know, that that mortal body, man. You know, that life, uh, sin, life in it. You know, this this is gonna just be, be destroyed here, man. How the Lord gonna do it? We don't know. But he's gonna. It says in the twinkling of an eye, man, you show up, you change. You know, you're gonna receive that, that that body, man, that body that's been prepared. You know, that's part of the inheritance too. You know, but um, let's get into that real quick, bro. All right. This is uh, the book of uh, Luke, 
chapter 17 and uh, verse 20, the title says the coming of the kingdom. Mm. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High should come, second, I'm gonna make, make sure I get that right. It says, when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation. Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. The mindset that we have right now, you know, this this, this rulership, uh, you know, uh, uh, immortal type mindset, man. You know, because that's what we're practicing, man. We're, re we're rehearsing the righteous acts, you know, in, in hope of being delivered, man. You know, but it starts within us, man. Every brother being a, a, a living stone. Okay, get that real quick, brother Peters. Uh, you are a living stone. You know, because every brother represents a, a part of the building, man. Yeah, how is shy being that chief cornerstone? If you go into, I was going into the chief cornerstone, the, the importance of it in the building. It's basically how the building is, is where, it's basically where the building uh, gets its uh, foundation from. You know, it's the strongest part, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's where the whole building forms from it. And that's ultimately what we are. You know, Yahweh Shai being that stone and everything else falls into base in regard to where that stone is at, man. And that's what the Lord is doing with us, man. You know? You got something? This is what you called for earlier on. Right. Second Peter 3 and 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. That's part of what we're doing, right? We're, we're seeking something that's better, man. Something that's going to be better, you know? From what we experience here on a day-to-day -day basis, man. The, the pollution and shit, you know, everything, man. We always go into detail. But, you know, just being in this fucking place, man, having to work for Esau, having to build a society that we really don't enjoy, that's hell, man. You know, our existence in this place is hell, man. you know? Uh, no, the, uh, uh, we're just speaking on uh, looking for a new kingdom. You have to have that mindset only if you experience what the brother's talking about, man. You see how, how this, this destroyed this place is, and you you know we want the opposite of this, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, we want the complete opposite, man. 360 degree opposite. Uh, you know, like, like the scripture said, where it was, what is righteous? Forget that real quick. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and 5 from 4. It says, To whom coming? as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the Most High and precious. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house, unholy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Yeah, it's called, right? That, that means so with them, man. Present thy bodies as a living sacrifice. And that's what brothers represent. That's what we're being molded. You know, it's like the, the, the man that works the masonry, right? They, they, they gotta grind, they gotta sand the stone sometimes, you know, to make it fit you. Uh, so it could uh, perfectly fit in that building, man, or else what, it's gonna look kind of weird. It ain't gonna look, uh, uh, you know, uh, ordained and, and nice. And that's what the Lord's doing. So he's making up his jewels, man, and he wants them perfect. And how you find a particular power, man? Just look look into the, the building of the temples. You know, hey, the Lord say, I want it this way, I want it that way, you know, by the inch, by, hey, it, was, it had to be right on point, bro, you know? So us, you know, that's what is going to be required. The Lord requires perfection out of us, man. You know, and that we get in the Havishai, you know. We sacrifice all that, that, that went into play. Well, even when uh, when uh, the Most High gave the instructions to know what the good are, those were precise instructions, okay? Those were precise measurements that he gave to them. So the Lord is precise. He always gets the complete order in everything that he does, man. Okay? He's going to put us in complete order, you know, starting with that chief cornerstone, the Havishai. Every 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 stone fitted perfectly, man. Right? And the stone over long there, hey, it's, it's not part of the building, man. Right? Hey, that's spiritual too, because if you think about it, the Lord told them to design it as such, because the Lord knew what was coming. The waves, he probably, you know, uh, was was accounting for the big ass waves and, and all the rain and uh, the days that it had to do it. And you got to think about it in more of a really extrapolate the scriptures, man. There's a reason why the Lord wanted it that size. Cause you know it, that that was what required for that ship to endure that that uh, that storm, man. And you they know? called that uh, they called it a uh, structural integrity. There you go. Uh, you know? hey, and the Lord deals with all that, man. That's why in the army, you know, when He set up the armies, He set up doubt, captains over thousands of, uh, of captains of fifty and all that, because all that is required within a working unit, man, to make it work properly. Uh, that's what we're you know we go through what we go through too, you know, going through all holy hell, man. You know the furnace of affliction, you know. Like it says in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, acceptable men, right? Yeah. You know? So, Lord willing, we those men, we endure. Yeah. You know? But, uh, you guys got precepts?
we'll just jump to that second edge of the line and we'll just start running it down. You know, because this is what we're being prepared for, man. We're being prepared for the hell that's coming to the earth, you know, which we're seeing right now unfold. You know, we're seeing the, the, the offers of the people, like we mentioned earlier. You know, you got uh, protesters out there at Peru. You got brothers out there, man, prophesying. You know, so it's no coincidence that all these things have started to happen over there. You, know, you got what, uh, what's the other country? Uh, I think it's Peru where the president, they got out there, he wanted to coup. And they ousted him, they arrested him, man. You know, why are these things happening? It ain't no coincidence, man. Why are the people coming up against the rulers? So even though we're not seeing it here in America, because they got the people here in America so uh, drunk up that wine, but all these other places in the world, man, they're, they're feeling the effects of the prophecies. You know, in the form of these uh, uproars, earthquakes, fires, tempests. You know, you got storm, you know, people freezing to death in their cars, bro. You know, why is that happening? Because the Heavenly Father is angry at the wicked every day, bro. And, and if I may say too, you know, some of the images, some of the images that are that are floating around social media should really wake a lot of people up. But it seems that they don't. You got a, I know, I don't know if your brothers saw it. I think it was in, a, I want to say in the East Coast. I want to say, um, where was it at? Where they were showing a house full of ice houses? Uh, East Coast, yeah. Buffalo, New York. There was houses, right? That they had like 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 thick, like it was just it was just covered in ice. You got you got um manatees, right? Those fishes. That would trip me out. You got manatees, right? They were, they were, there was, there was, there was, there was, there was, there was a flopping down, a uh, 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 su suburban, uh, suburban uh, streets. You know, you got water shooting out of in Saudi Arabia, shooting out of a, 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 a straight sand. You got, you got a free uh, snowing in in in, um, in the desert out there in uh, the Middle East. I mean, these are these are signs that are like, they're like, like astronomical. There's phenomena. There's a bunch of chariots, right? UFOs, as, as, as they've been called, and now Esau's changing their name, like he always does, just, you know, just switch things around to try to throw you off, but those are actually, uh, you know, the cherries that the Heavenly Father is going to come in, but all these signs, man, it should really wake people up, man. Scary. Uh, scary shit is about to happen, bro. You got that earthquake over there in California, too, 6.4. Mm. Think about it, man. You, I've been through an earthquake. Them motherfuckers are scary, bro. Yeah. You don't want that shit. Mm. Shay, that shit like fuck. <laughs> Where do you go? You, you ain't going. You ain't going nowhere, man. Uh, you, know, you better be prayed up, and, and that house don't come down on you. But you know that that's how you feel at that time, man. And that's what's coming, you know, to the whole world, man. On a thousand level, you know, it's gonna be real bad, man. You got something? We said go. What you saying? Uh, Job thirty six and twenty two. It says, uh, "Behold, the Most High exalted by His power." Who teacheth like him? So, you know, like most situations, only thing you can say is God. That's the first thing that comes to your mind, man. So he, he gets your attention like no other. Who can who, te who teaches like him? All right? So it should, it should direct you uh, to the words of the prophets, basically. You know? Yeah, yeah like the, the brother said, uh, hey, when you were in that earthquake, when you were in that position where, where you, and you can't really go no place, and the, the Lord's really showing you that you ain't shit, man. This is Psalm 39 and 11. It says, when thou was rebuked, thus correct man for iniquity, thou makest his duty to consume away like a moth, which journey every man is death. So, because because all those also fan, those earthquakes and those uh, those these, these uh, changes in weather, that's a rebuke of the Lord, man. That, that's a judgment of the Lord. That's the Lord rebuking the wickedness of our people, man. But uh, what was it in Chicago where they had the freezing temperatures, right? Where they had that Jake woman, uh, she died in the car with her, with her like a preacher or something like that. Yeah. Hey, that, that's a rebuke from the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Her ass thought she was going home, man, on a normal day, and she got hit with that storm, and that's how it's going to be. Yeah, scriptures say, as a thief in the night, you know, something. Mm -hmm. It's going to be bad. You got to blame yeah. This is uh, real quick, Second Edges 8.50. It says, uh, that, for man. many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world mm -hmm. because they have walked in great pride. And that, that's how these people walk, man. Just Christmas and all these... Uh, Festivities, you know, just bring out the devil in these people, man. You see them on, on social media opening these gifts and shit, man. You know, just, just being in that spirit of folly, man. You know, it's unnecessary being in the times that you're in. You know, how much I talked about discerning the times. You gotta know what time you're in, man. You know, you, you can't uh, uh, you know, eat, 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 eat dinner for breakfast and shit. Right. Come on, man. You gotta know what time it is. You gotta know what time of the day it is. Right now we're in a, in a very, very prophetic day, prophetic time. Hey, I will say that a lot of them people, they thought it was a light thing when they were seeing on the, on the news that all the snow was coming in, man. A lot of them was arrogant and prideful to say, look, you know, I'm going to run to the store 
before this shit really hit, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And those are the same people that got caught out there in the storm and perished, man. You know, because people are arrogant as hell. People have this mentality that it can't happen to them. And, you know, that, that's why, you know, not to go off the, the topic, but that's why you have a lot of these, these bitches going and cutting on their bodies and doing all this kind of shit, you know, because even though they've known that people have died from these things, then they, they think it, it's not going to be them. No, that's ultimately pride, man. You know, and and, and we, we got to see the, and hear those uh, stories of them, you know, that like that girl that, that perished and died in their car, man. I also saw a video where this woman had brought this man into her home because this nigga was getting blown up and down the street. You know, uh, that when she looked out, stuck out there in the storm, she brought him into her home, and this man's hands, like, got gang green on him. They, they, their fingers all swollen. You know, they were starting to fall off and shit. And, and, and it was, she, this man was stuck in her home, and she was calling all these people, like, begging somebody to come and get this man, and nobody was there to help. You know, nobody was there to come and get this man. She had to just sit there and deal with that shit and possibly had this man just dying slowly in her house, man. See what I'm saying? But th th this is how all of our people are in their security, and they're being prideful. And then the Heavenly Father, he comes to bring forth his judgment, man, and, and puts you in a state of panic just to let you know what it is, man, that he's the king of terrors, you know, and, and that he will bring forth his judgment, man, and let you repent. See, shit like that, man, you know, that's... That's what the Lord's doing, man. He, he, he's letting you know that, hey, in, in, in just the things that are happening, hey, there's something happening, you know, this is not ordinary, man. Yeah. And like Apostle Gopar said a few months back, man, he was like, uh... You know, get ready to see a first never before seen or you know first of its kind type things and that's what we're seeing man with the storms you know things like that yeah i never heard about yeah. you know people freezing in the car man yeah, right. that's 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 crazy bro well, having or seeing like four houses covered in ice yeah, yeah that and, shit was crazy you know and, and then you got people uh today is what they call new year's eve and that's that's against the scriptures man because that's the scriptures talk about revenues man and revenues is just like, you know, getting drunk and, you know, I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is uh, Galatians 5 and 21. He's just talking about the, the works of the flesh. It says, empty, murders, drunkenness, revelings. And revelings is what people are going to be involved in today. And I'm going to get the definition for that word revelings. It says, a nocturnal and righteous procession of half drunken and products and fellows. Got the supper parade. We're basically getting drunk and partying, man. That, 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 that's, what, that's what's going on today, man. That's what people are celebrating today. They're celebrating the New Year's Eve, which is a day of revenue, a day of getting drunk, a day of uh, you know, being down on that logic, man, and booyah, and so on and so forth, man. Yeah, and it's spiritual how the Lord has it, bro. We're, we're selected. Uh, we're, we're, uh, both these uh, Christmas and uh, New Year's landed on what days that we come out to, to camp and shit, bro. And so the Lord's yeah, making yeah. it known, like, mm -hmm. hey, y'all, y'all doing that? Yeah. Well, I got my man over here, you know, doing what they supposed to do, man. That's right. You know? And so. you know, there, there's, there's, that's funny you said that because there, there's, there's a saying in the world that says, um, rejection sometimes is redirection. You know what I'm saying? So, so sometimes wow. we gotta look at, you know what I mean? Like the fact that, you know, you're, you're not really, and you're not really even invited. You know what I mean? Yeah, to be quite honest, like, you know, but you're not the guest list. Yeah, you're not on the you're not on the <laughs> VIP list. You're not yeah, the guest list. SVP. So 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 basically, you know that 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 so-called rejection is really redirection. The Lord's like, nah, man, I need you over here. I need you. You know what I mean? Because because it is an austere walk. You know, it, it is it is a you know it is a walk of uh, you know discipline and whatnot. But um, the scriptures say, um, as in the days of Noah, what they were eating and drinking, and that day came upon them what unawares. Unawares. You see, but we're not unaware, man. So we just gone. Thing is I think it's Tesla. Because we, all, we, we throw a curse on this day, man. You know, we throw a curse on this day. We, we pray the Lord uh, does something uh, uh, amazing to these people, like in form of judgment, man. And we we hoping the Lord brings, brings some kind of mass death on this day, man. Hmm. Because, hey, because, hey, we don't make this fucking place, man. Right. And it's a tradition, you know, throw up them curses on the... And we hear it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we... we, we, we we're hoping like hell this is the year and hey check out the spiritual of it you know 2023 what does that add up to seven yeah so it might be a year of completion where the lord just does it all does it all go ahead and this shit yeah. you know lord willing yeah. but hey if not you know we'll be here 2024 doing what we've been doing you know lord willing that be the year you know yeah. and that's that's the mindset you gotta have hey, with that's that's hey, sitting the coming man you, know? you gotta be like that hey, 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 you gotta be like that, man. that, 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 that 
it is what it is. Hey, I'm gonna be here, Lord willing. You know, Lord keep that spirit. Uh, wow. Every single brother here, man. Uh, you got something? Right. Yeah, quick, quick. Uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So the Heavenly Father got you into whatever he, he had you uh, living in the East Coast, man, thinking about to hit the beach and all those things, man. He says, no, you, nobody can deliver you out of his hand. You know, it's perfect timing with, 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 with whatever he does, you know? Hey, but if you're applying wisdom, bro, you're going to stay your ass inside. You're not going to do any unnecessary driving. But you're only going to get my ass out there if, I, if it's a life and death situation. Yeah. You know, and that's what brothers do. When we, you know, I'm pretty sure brothers wasn't out there driving around and shit. And if they were, the Lord will preserve them, of course. But, you know, you that, that, that's what it's coming down to, man, that we have that. We have wisdom. And we're going to apply it when all, all everybody else is just on a state of lunacy, man, going crazy and shit. You know, meeting their children and shit, man, while we're, you know, uh, uh, chilling, man. Wait, the scripture said we're going to rejoice, man. You know, we shall laugh. And we shall mourn. And we're going to be in the state, like the scripture says, we're going to be in the state of stability. You know, going back to our knowledge and wisdom, being stability of times. We're going to be stable while the rest of the world is losing their shit, man. While the rest of the rest of the world is making haste in time of trouble, yes, and we're gonna we're gonna have our minds up. We're gonna have the correct mindset, yes, man. Yes, man. That's what we exhort, brothers, man. Continue in the path of, of life. Right. You know, don't let nothing get you out the spirit, man. Yeah, They're gonna come. You know, we ain't out here telling you that it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Bro. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be the most difficult thing if you ever embark in this, right? Because you're employed by the uh, how about shit, man? How about shy, man? You know, it ain't, it ain't like Esau, man. Because when the Heavenly Father fires you, man, he he, he do terrible shit. Yeah. You know, Chef kill you, kill you and your family, man. Mm -hmm. uh, Even vice versa, kill, like kill your family and leave your ass alive. Man. Or just bug you the hell out, man. Yeah, just bug you the hell out. So that's why the scriptures say, man. Uh, it was better, it was better uh, for that man to not have known, yeah. lest you know he go back into the world, un despite, uh, despite being under grace. That's the coldest part to me of that scripture, man. Is that you hear it is you're under grace, and you totally jacked up your grace period, man. Totally exhausted all your chances. But when you come into the knowledge, you, you'll have the Lord will, you, you'll fall time and time again. But if you know you're part of the election, you know, something to the Lord will get you up time and time again. You know? See what I'm saying? So you have to, you know, make sure you don't you don't uh, uh, frustrate the grace that the Lord has given you. That's beautiful. That's key. That the brother said that man. You know, what was that? Uh, Sending uh, willingly. Yeah. That's, 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 that's being evil right there, man. You know, when we fuck up, it's like, fuck. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like, man, why the fuck did I do this shit? Yeah. Or like, why am I in this situation? And you learn that time after time that hey, it's the Lord, man, and keep keeping you humble, yeah. keeping, keeping you in your lane, man. Because you know? if you're not going through shit, it's like, you get prideful, man. And sometimes the Lord will have you where you ain't going through shit. And, and, that pride demon starts kicking in there, man. Like, you, just, you think you're all good, you think you're untouchable, you think you got it. You know, the scripture say knowledge pops it up, right? Mm -hmm. You know, and that's that's a, a way of the Heavenly Father uh, bring you down a level, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Humbly. Says, uh, the more greater the art, the more humble thou should be. And, and, and if I may say, too, another thing about the knowledge is that um, you're going to have to stand on what you say. I mean, what you say. That's right. You're going to have to stand on it because the Lord will present situations where the, the same thing you were talking about. You're gonna have to literally like, like, be presented with, yeah. like, wait a minute, I was just talking about this. Oh snap! And and then if you fall, the Lord will teach you, hey man, be wise with what you say, be careful. You know what I'm saying? Because um, what, what you believe in, your, you know, this knowledge will get put to the test. You know, the Lord will put you in situations where you're like, you know, like, like, uh, uh, like a, what do I say? Uh, what, you, what you might have went into, like the Lord's like, look, man, here it is in front of you. What are you gonna do? Snap! Got to, got to rely back on the scriptures, man. And that's happened to me. Uh, uh, that's happened to me before, where I'm just like, yo, I was just talking about this the other day, and you're like, and it just gives you more experience with what you're, you're teaching, because a lot of the, a lot of the teaching comes, uh, the profoundness really come with experience. Going through, going through, if I'm so like, yeah. going through what it is the scriptures tell yes, you. You know, Apostle Babar, he's saying that too. He's like, it's one thing to know scriptures. But it's another thing to live them. And then you're like, oh snap, now I know why this scripture says don't do this, don't do that, don't do, you know? God, because the brother's talking about, hey, you gotta stand on what you speak, man. And and, 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 and basically, whatever you say, the Lord's gonna test you. Yeah, yeah. This is a Sirach 4 and 16. If a man commit himself unto her, speaking of wisdom, 
he shall inherit her and his generation shall hold her in her possession. For at the first she will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him. Ooh, and that's beautiful because that's what happens, bro. Yeah. You, 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 you notice yourself walking like some fucked up ass that you might not have known that it was evil, but with the knowledge and wisdom of life, you're, you're like, oh shit, why am I doing this? You know? yeah. This ain't right. This is yeah. not how a man of the heavenly father should, should walk. Mm -hmm. You know, so let me correct my way. Let me let me let me change this shit up a little bit and, and adjust, man. And that's what this that's what this truth really is all about, man. Yeah. Adjusting, uh, getting wounded, healing, letting, you know, it's just like any cup, bro. You put the, the, the ointment, which is the scriptures, you let it heal, mm -hmm. and what does that create? A scarring, man. And those scars last forever, yeah. which is uh, the, the, the understanding, right? Yeah. What, what does Proverbs say, bro? With all my Wisdom is the chief thing with all that getting, get understanding. The scriptures yeah. say, he that departed from evil, that is understanding. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? When, when you, like, like, like how the, you know, you go through something, you bump your head, and you be like, now I get it. Like, cause, yeah. and, and, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I'll be the first to tell you, you yeah. gotta go through something like a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Some brother, hey, this brother, we were talking on the phone the other day. <laughs> this brother was telling me the other day, yeah, yeah. You know, cause, you know, so, some might need it more than others, and it's true. It's just true. Every man is every man's walk is different. Some brothers is more hard headed. I'll be the first to say. You know what I mean. Some brothers are more hard headed. You gotta learn by a, a, a myriad of chastisements. But you going, you you paying for a lot of the uh, BS you did right. in the world. Right. You know your past lives and, and, and little secret faults and all these different things. Go ahead and finish this. Is uh, Iraq four and seventeen. For at first you will walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Mm. Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws, then shall we return the straight way unto him and comfort him. See, that's the key right there. You're, you're gonna get, you're gonna go to, to, to afflictions and trials, but you're gonna get comforted, man. And show him his secrets. But if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Ooh. His own ruin, bro. Because what is this faith? What is this? Like the brother quoted earlier, and Peter actually get that, bro. Uh, he that uh, he that uh, was made known if he depart. I mean. Because uh, hey, that's really what it's like in them to man. Not, once you have wisdom and you're moving with wisdom, and to depart from it, 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 that's ruin right there, bro. That's like that's the worst of the worst. You know, because having something and then not having it, it's better, it would have been better not to have it. Yeah. It's like when you when you get a, a toy or something, your father you know buys you some shit, you do something stupid and it takes it away from you. So you just wish like, man, man, I should have not fucking even had that shit. Never, never should have known. Oh, you, a better one, better one. You get this nice piece of ass, right? And you're getting it, you're getting it, and then she leaves your ass, and you, you be like, man, it would have been better. Never yeah, had never that had shit. Had now, that now I'm always yeah, thinking about, about that. About shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's many ways to take it, man. But you know, that's what this truth is like. You know, to a precious woman, right? That once you have her, you never want to. You never, you know, want to give, give it up, man. You gotta treat her right. You, know? yeah. Yeah. you gotta treat her right. Yeah. You, you gotta uh, lay the law down. You know what I'm saying? And, and do what you gotta do. And that's what this this this, this, this knowledge is like in us, man. Wisdom, real wisdom. You got it. Uh, this is uh, Matthew seven and one. Uh, just because the brother was going into how you know, you know, hey, be careful, you know, how, how you walk in these things. And, and, and how you deal, you know, amongst the body, you know, because the things that you judge with, you know, you will be judged by. So this is uh, Matthew 7 and 1, it says, judge not that ye be not judged. It says, for, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. It says, and with what measure ye, ye, ye meet, it shall be measured to you again, man. So, so, the, so the, way, the way you treat brothers, Okay, and that's the way you're gonna be treated, man. Hey, the way that you uh, approach brothers, the way that you look at them, the way you deal with, with, with brothers, okay? Hey, think of it as you dealing with your Howard Shy, man. You dealing with one of the Lord's little ones, man. You know? And you gotta be mindful of how you deal. You see what I'm saying? Because it says, you know, just think about the mentality. You, you, you could see it, you know, a brother, you know, he had this issue or that issue, man. You can't be judging that brother harshly. We all got to extend mercy amongst one another, man, amongst this body. It should always be mercy. Because that's exactly what we're looking for from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we always got to extend mercy to brothers, man. If brothers get to a point where they're going off so much 
to the point where you know you can't deal with them, man. Hey, the Lord will deal with that, and he'll cast them off, man. But we always supposed to extend mercy to our brothers, man. That's why we got to watch how we deal. You see? Wow. I, I believe your, your the, uh, Kassad, is that mercy? Yeah. Yeah, right. Kassad, man, and that, that mean mercy, man. Y'all know for a fact that this is a very merciful brother, man. He got that name for a reason, yo. But that's what that's hey, that's what it's all about, man. So you gotta be careful because that that you judge another man by, that's what you're gonna be judged by. You're gonna have those things turn 180 and stare you back in the face, man. Then you're gonna have to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? So that's something just a mindset thing, just to keep in mind when you're dealing. And and, 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 and moreover, hey, I was shy, man. I was shy, man. He he, you know, you know the scriptures say, uh, 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 you know, for. Uh, basically say if, if uh, they be an odd between brothers man a hey, uh, you know basically a hey, forgive that man like I wish I have forgiven you you know what I'm saying uh, so even more over you I wish I was merciful man because look at us yeah. who are we you know what I'm saying I mean not to say it like that because you gotta you gotta have faith in your, you know confidence I should say in, in, in your walk and everything like that but hey man you know for, for the certain trespasses we did hey, we could have been we could have been uh, 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 you know we could have been out there without the wisdom you see what I'm saying because hey, hey, the brother was mentioned that you know you gotta treat brother like you would treat your shy man. And this is Matthew 25 and 42. It says, For I was hungry and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, you took me not in. Mm -hmm. Naked and you clothed me not. Sick and in prison, you visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hunger or a thirst or a stranger or naked or sick or in prison and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, and as much as you did it not to run the beast of these, you did it not to me. Mm. And how sayest thou lovest the Father, yeah. which is in heaven, and thou, thou lovest not those that are with you, something to that effect. Uh, you know? Uh, yeah. you know we, we, we amongst each other, man. You know, and, and like I always say, man, the best unit is the unit that's together and united. You know? And you mind mine and accord. Because, you know, that's an that's a, that's a undefeated unit. Even even on that, on basketball teams, the ones that have the best chemistry or my sport was more soccer. In soccer, man, you gotta have chemistry. Cause it's 11 players, man, you know, playing in a big ass field. And you could tell when they got chemistry. You know, passes get where they're supposed to. You read more. You read people. You're like, okay, well, I know what. If he has the ball. He sees me. If I do this, he's gonna do that, and you know, we're gonna connect. And we're gonna unite. Right? This dude is good at defending. Oh, this dude is good at. at, at, at uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the uh, what is this? The, 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 the I'm not too good at soccer, but the, the shot. The uh, uh, you know, pass the forward, you know what I'm saying? Defenders forward, the goalie, this dude, the captain, this dude, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? But um, I got one if I made this. Because uh, cause, uh, uh, somebody had mentioned, uh, um, somebody had mentioned, right? I'm not, I'm not sure who's, uh, the, uh, the, Lord, the Lord loved us. I think, all right, this is uh, John 17 and 23. It says, I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one. And that the world may know that thou hast sent me and has loved them as thou hast loved me. So everybody is in one. And we went over that uh, last week. You know what I'm saying? The Most High, Yahweh Shai, and the election, bro, are one. Now, you know, some people would, I heard somebody say, how would the Most High love the Messiah, the Lord, if he let him die on the cross? Bro, that's that's beyond that's beyond dudes' uh, comprehension here. For a, for, for a father to give up his only begotten son, okay, is, is a plan, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that has to be studied. We have to go into that. You know, we, we know through the Spirit that, you know, the Lord's thoughts are not our thoughts. Just like how Abraham was told to sacrifice his son. You see what I'm saying? That's 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 a, that's a, a love. What, what do they call it? Tough love, man. Unconditional. So that's a love that, that uh, you know, that's a manly love, man, when you look into When you really... Look into the scriptures, man, and see what it is. Why the Most High was comfortable with sacrificing his son, bro. That's a love that's like. That's why the scriptures say, man, y'all y'all should die for one another. Man. You know what I'm saying? And and, and, and and yeah, we've been marinated in Babylon juice, but we need to put that on every day, time and time again, because this world treats you know, it teaches you to be a you know solo. Oh, I can do a solo on this, you know what I mean? But nah, man. Uh, this is uh, John 15 and 12. It says, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Mm -hmm. It says, greater love have no man than this, 
that a man lay down his life for his friends. That's right. Verse 14 says, ye are my friends if ye do do whatsoever I commanded you, man. And at the end of the day, hey, Yahweh Shai, he laid down his life for us, you know, as we should have the same mentality to lay down our lives for the men that are around us. And when a brother was talking about, you know, the sports, you know, and putting those analogies together, you know, at the end of the day, those things, it's, it's about um, the chemistry, but it's also about the love. It's about the sacrifice, man. Because all of those, all of those men, when you when you look at sports, man, all of those men that are on successful teams are willing to sacrifice for one another. It's another man that's sitting on the bench that probably got as much talent as the dude on the field, but he's willing to sacrifice and not bitch up. But he'll bring his A game to practice to get that man prepared for the success of the team. And that's the same kind of mentality that we gotta have, man. And it ain't about us. You know what I'm saying? It's about glorifying your how about Shimmy how a shot. You see what I'm saying? And there's no greater love that than a man that's willing to lay down his life for, for, for his friends, for his brothers, you know? Hey, there's many different sacrifices that brothers are willing to make for one another. That's why this body is so strong. The body of your Habashim Shah is so strong because you got an entire unit of men that's willing to sacrifice for one another, whether it's your life, whether it's your time, whether it's some of your money, you know, whether whether it's, you know, uh, you, you, you taking, you know, some time to, to uh, you know, feed a brother some knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. There's very many sacrifices that brothers make for one another all the time, man. And, and, it's, and it's, it's not... Um, it, it's willful, you know, it's like, it's easy. You know, it's it, it's something that, that hey, it's no skin off our back, man. It's something that we love to do. It's something that we actually seek out opportunities to do. That's right, man. That's why this body is so strong, man. It's a beautiful thing to be a part of the brotherhood. This is of the book of Philippians. And, uh, you know what, I'm gonna start at two. It says, fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like-minded, like-minded, mm. man. That's a requirement. Uh, uh. Same doctrine, you know, same breakdowns. You know, even though we have different things that we like, but wisdom and knowledge has to be on point. Uh, right. It says, having the same love, being of one accord, mm. of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife and vi uh, or vain glory. Yeah, because that's where it, it creeps up in them, man. And that's why you gotta check that shit as soon as it comes in. Or less Satan, you know, like you know, brother would say. Yeah. Satan will creep up in there, man. Yeah. If you let him, you know that's why you gotta have the, the, the ministry tight. And it talks talk about being a novice, being lifted up with pride, man. Right. You know, so you gotta you gotta be careful that that your knowledge doesn't fuck you up, man. You gotta be careful that you don't get too ahead of yourself, man. Yeah. You know because uh, hey, the, the pride is a, a little part of the bar. You know the bar, you know the, you know, the bar. You made a video a long time ago saying that your that your worst enemy in the truth is yourself, man. So they basically, hey, you're the one that's going to cause your own downfall. Yeah. So that's why you got to keep yourself in check. That's why it's going to talk about examining yourself, man. Right? That's why it's going to talk about having your household in order. These are all things that you got to do personally as a man, you know, to keep yourself in, in, a, in a right mind state, man. Go ahead, bro. And the reason the Lord, the Spirit has us going into these things is because the times that we're bringing up, right, uh, second is the ninth chapter, it's going to require that, man. You know, the scriptures say, uh, they speak about uh, you should hear, you should want to hear a brother's voice, right? Yeah. You're not gonna be able to. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. how bad it's gonna get, man. And we we get glimpses of that, you know. Yeah. You know, we really haven't experienced it like that because you know the technology that Esau has given us, is, it, it, it keeps you at a at a you know a speed dial away from calling someone. But there there is coming a time where there's gonna be a media blackout, man. There's gonna be a yeah. blackouts everywhere. My you know, brother's been going into the, the terror attacks against the grid. You know, so once that happens, man. It, it's, it's hard to communicate, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, we, we haven't really experienced that in, 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 in over a decade, 20, well, two decades, right? Yeah. Since what, the early 2000s? And, and the early 2000s, they kind of already had the, the phones and all that, but you know, I'm talking about like going back to where you, 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 you say your goodbyes at the crib and yeah. you know, sometimes you even see your, 
your other ones will hear from them for the whole day, man. So yes. that, that type of being <laughs> yeah. hasn't been played out. Hey, there's little ones in this world, man, that don't understand the concept of that. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that, that's some OG shit right there, right? Hey, hey, call me at 7. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be, be at home at 7. Call me at 7. Or they'll use the phone, the phone, the phones, you know, hey, call hey, me around this time. You know, oh, you yeah. don't have the pay phone number yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. You can call it up, man. Yeah, I'll be at home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, when I get home. Yeah, before cell phone, before yeah. cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. I remember back when you were in middle school, when you wanted to call a girl up, yeah. you'd be like, what time is the phone going to be free so I can call you? Yeah, yeah. About what four time o'clock. Is your asleep? Yeah, what, yeah. yeah what, time is, what time is everybody, you know, chilling and nobody's going to be on the phone? Yeah, Around five o'clock, five, right? six, call yeah. me. You pick it up, it'd be your mom or her dad be like, oh, can I talk to so-and-so? Be like, I'm on the phone right now. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> call back later. You might not even get to talk to nobody. Yeah, the only difference now is you're just gonna get that well, now because no one uses landlines no more, so you're gonna yeah, get yeah. that death, the, the death tone, you know. Yeah. yeah. Now the phones is just not gonna, you ain't gonna do shit, man. It's just gonna go error, error. Right. You know what I mean, and those, those are the times that we're approaching, man. Where you know you're not gonna have the brotherhood readily available, man. That's what's the time to learn from each other. You know? like, what's this brother doing, here, man? Where, where's this brother? Well, well, let me check this brother out. Let's see, you know. And you're gonna it's miss all about you're, that, you're right? gonna miss this, man. It ain't about fucking pain glory, man. At all. Oh, I, I'm more than that, brother. Yeah. Man, that brother might know more than you, but that brother just carries himself in a very humble way, man. You know, there's, there's things like that. I, 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 yeah, there's been times where I'm like, that damn brother shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because it's like that, man. You know, this this truth is very spiritual. It's a yeah. very spiritual thing, and we we can't stress that enough. You, know? yep. you, got, you got something? Come on, brother. It says, uh, back in Philippians 2, it says, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Yeah. You know, so hey, I know me and this brother always talk about that. You know, hey, esteem one another, man. Hey, prefer this brother before me, man. Hey, go ahead, brother, you first. Uh, you got it. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's not always all oh, me, me, me. You know what I'm saying? Little you know, things. Yeah, little things like that. It go a long way, man. It says the Lord's watching all that, bro. <laughs> you know, the Lord's watching that, man, and that, that's a that's a scary thing, man. Cause get that, bro. Before we go in, uh, offend not these little ones. You know, cause that's 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 the crucial part of, of, of this whole thing, man. You you might be potential, you know. I don't yeah. know who their brother yeah. is. Or their yeah. brother is. Exactly. This I was might, just thinking that. This might right be uh, it could be Jeremiah. It bro. could be one of them, the brothers, man. Yeah. You know, and it's gonna be like that. Man. We we around spiritual man, and Lord willing, you know, we all those those uh, hundred forty four thousand man. Hey, the hundred forty four thousand man. Hey, those are the, the, the cream of the towel. How do you say, man? Cream of the crop, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the top of the line, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's the the the. the you know, the best of their class. Like yeah. Leaps. Leaps. Yeah, that card, man. The, yep. the, the high status, man. Hey, you don't really, hey, honestly, you really don't know who you're talking to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You really don't. You know, you could be talking to somebody. Right? You could be in the presence of somebody. Yeah, I remember a, a, something Apostle Babar, man, said once, and it always stuck with me. He's like, uh, back in the day when they were still with the other, with the camp, right, that they went to sit down with some of the younger men, and the younger men were like, Apostle, you know, because there's already, you know, even within their own camp, they were like, oh, you don't really sit with the younger men. And they were like, hey, brothers, I don't know who you brothers are, man. Yeah. You might, you brothers might be some, you know, like, the, the, the spiritual ass man in the scriptures, man. And that stuck with me in the sense that it's true. You know, you, you, that's that's why uh, uh, it's, 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 it's a crucial thing to, to walk with humility, man. You know, because, hey, I, I experienced it. We all experienced, man, with that, that demon, you know, knowledge, prophet, dub, all that creeps in, man. Uh, that's why you got to be like, fuck that shit, you know? And if, if, if uh, words don't, don't uh, teach you, man, the adversity that the Heavenly Father is going to put on you for doing that, if you're one of his elect, we'll get you out of that, man. So it's going to work out either way. You know, one, one, one shape or another is going to work out. The elect are going to come out made up as jewels. They're going to come out without any blemish, any any impurity in them. Everything's going to be dealt with. And, get, and it's spiritual. So like, and it's spiritual because, uh, you know, when this comes out, it's for a reason. You know what I'm saying? That's another thing, too. The scriptures say all words are inspired by the most high. All scriptures given by Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So it's beautiful when the brothers come come together and, and, and you know, we have these lessons and we fellowship among each other because this all breaking this knowledge bread. comes out, bro, for a reason. Man. You got it, bro. We're breaking bread, man. You know, spiritual uh, tokens, you know, spiritual uh, meals, you know, within a meal. You know? yeah. you get that real quick, brother? Nah, it's uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the uh, depth of the sea there you go and we say that in humility man you know, that's why we apply that type of uh, 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 attitude towards the way we deal you know? it's, it's crucial and yeah, we're going to be perfect i know i ain't perfect shit. Yeah, so. 
know, sometimes I gotta get my own. Like, fuck, man, who the fuck is that? Or why, yeah. why did you act that way? Why did you, you say that? You gotta get your own ass sometimes, man. Like that. Yeah. Sometimes you really gotta check yourself, man. Yeah. Yep. Because you'll catch yourself acting fucking stupid, man. Yep. Or acting like, like, or, or bitching up, man. Yeah. That's when you gotta kick your own ass, man. Yeah. yeah. That's better yeah. you kick your own ass in the most high yeah. 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 So Was that a self examination? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a high time right now. You check everything. Yeah. You're doing too much business, too little of that, you know. Yeah. That's the time we're in. Yeah. You got something to do? Uh, yeah, uh, this is a uh, Sirach 20, and uh, I'm gonna start at verse 5. It says, There is one that keepeth silence and is found wise, and another by much babbling becometh hateful. It says, Some man holdeth his tongue because he have not to answer, and some keep his silence knowing his time. And hey, that's and that's just kind of like you know growing in this thing and kind of being seasoned, man. You know, um, just because we going into these kind of things, because like, you know, every, every brother up here got something to say, you know, every brother that's up here, you know, been been given a, a certain level, you know, of, of, of knowledge, you know, and, and we all watching, you know, what's going on and what's playing out on the earth. We all got something to say, man. But it's kind of knowing, you know, how to pick your spots, man, knowing how to, you know, how to, how to kind of fall in line, you see what I'm saying? Um, you, you see, you see certain men, you know, when they're making a point, you know, you ain't gotta really try to interject, you know, because again, when, when you had a mentality that this is all for the edification of the body and all of, for the edification of, uh, of the sheep, how about she now shy, man? Then you can avoid a lot of those things. You see what I'm saying? Because you could, like, like the brother had made a point that, you know, it, it, brothers got a lot of knowledge, and I'm not saying that privately. I'm just saying that there's some brothers, you know, they, they fall back and kind of, you know, you know, let everybody, you know, uh, have an opportunity to speak and you know, those kinds of things, man. But that, just, that doesn't mean that brother don't know anything. Right. You can't look at that brother a certain way just because, you know, he's not always out in the forefront, you know, and, you know, and trying to, you know, run his mouth. It's just brothers is just using measures, man. Like, you, you got to, you can have a lot of knowledge and just kind of know your time. You got to pick your spots. That's a, that's a beautiful point, bro. Uh, it's a member, what's the smallest member is the most dangerous one, right? Hey, you uh, say? Yeah. Tongue, man. Sometimes you get your, your tongue gets you in yeah, yeah. a lot of shit. Fucked up situation, bro. I got that. Why I say that? Yeah, that's yeah, a good also talk about the uncomely parts of the body, man. Yeah. You know, being being the most important, man. So so, not every brother's gonna be like in the forefront of all, of all things, man. Because uh, you know, every brother has their own little niche or own little place in the truth, man, where it helps solidify the body as a whole, man. It's part of understanding everything, you know, that's, that's what comes with this, uh, this ministry, you know, giving, giving, you know, really thought to everything, you know, because this is, this is your salvation at the end of the day, man, you want to know uh, the inner works of it and how to be successful in this thing of ours, you know, like the Apostle the Bar always says, man, you know, ain't none of us want to fall, and part of it is the milk, man, what do you think the milk is all about? It's getting all this, understanding and knowing the, how the body works, it's like when you go in it, anywhere, bro, like a new job, right? What do you do? What's the first thing you got to do? Understand, well, like, let me check out the culture here. Let me see what I can yeah. do, what I can't do. Let me check how, how, how the, the spirit is here. Yeah. You, know, you just don't impose your own your own will. Mm -hmm. you, know, you go with, with the rhythm, man. Yeah. You know, that's that's what this truth is in. And we're all coming from the world. We're all the rhythm. So, you know, through the, the whooping of the Heavenly Father, we, we get better rhythm, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? that's, what, that's what this truth is all about, man, catching fucking hell. Second, uh, Ecclesiastic is the second chapter, man. You know, he that comes to serve the Lord, prefer that self for temptation, man. Like you, you can't have it no other way, man. You know, because we, we, like brothers always say, we've been marinated in yeah. Babylon for too long. You know, so, you know, mm -hmm. we, we, we're going to have certain uh, uh, things that we're still going to do that, that uh, we're going to take some time to, to get out of us, man. You know, that old man always wants to keep his head out. You know, so. Quick hey. reset. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the brother's going into, this is part of uh, ministering to the saints, and uh, we do minister, man. That scripture says, uh, man should not live by, by bread alone, but by every word. So yeah. you think about feeding the sheep, man, really the sheep is right next to you, you know, if you think about it, man. Yeah. Psalms 23 and 5, thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. And this is a table, man, it's got everything you need, you know. It says, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Mm. So we got more than, more than what you need, man. All right, you know, through the spirit. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. 
right? Because why? Because wisdom bring it forward towards the kingdom. Right. right. Beautiful. Yeah. This, 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 these are the these are the things that are going to be required, man, in the latter days when all hell breaks loose. Yeah. There's no bread, no famine. When there's famine, you think you're going to be around someone that doesn't have this wisdom? Hell no, man. Yeah. You know, it's going to be you got to, uh, so to speak, uh, uh, sleep with one eye open. Right. You know. Now when we when we and Lord willing, you know, uh, you know, the Lord might have it where you're with a brother or something, man. The, the, the peace you're going to receive from them, man, because you both on, on a like-minded mindset, hey, that's going to be the, 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 the thing that makes the difference, man, between life and death in these latter days. Right. You know, it really is going right. to be like that, man. It's going to be a life and death situation. You know, get that in Revelation, bro. Uh, you know, it should be uh, what, Revelation 2 and 10, I think it is. Okay. Revelation 2 and 10. Yeah. Three and ten. Three and ten. Okay, this is Revelation chapter three and ten. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And how is he keeping us, man? By giving us the, the understanding, you know. And ultimately, man, the Lord's gonna have to raise up a standard, and we always go into to, into that too. But He's gonna give His people, His men, spiritual power, man, to defend themselves against the oppressor, man, against the, the flood of the heathen, man. And these troops are gonna come into these cities, man, and they're gonna uh, create a martial law, okay, where you're not gonna be able to exit the cities, man. You see, and that, that's that's the tip that we like getting more into right now, because it's the, it's the most crucial thing, man. You see, but all these other things that we spoke about prior to starting speaking about this, man, are important, because like we said, we're, we're entering to these dark times, so you're gonna have to have all these different tools, man, to be able to endure. And the elect, they're gonna have, they're gonna possess, man, the all, every tool that they're gonna have to uh, have for the job at hand. Right. It's like the, the plumbers, right? You, you know, you gotta have all the tools, the right tools, okay, to finish a job, man. And well, that's what the elect are getting right now. They're getting all the right tools to to endure the, the evil, man. All right. It says, uh, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Power of temptation, man. That's what's coming to the earth. Evil times, you know, get Daniel's toe real quick, bro. A time like no other time, man. You know? And uh, if only brothers could grab Jeremiah 30, bro. Because uh, that's what's coming, man. And this is what we come out to tell our people. So, uh, Isaiah 58, cry out loud, spare not. And these are the things that a lot of camps don't like getting into, man. They don't like getting into the dark, and greedy stuff of the scriptures, man. Like it says in uh, Ezekiel, the second chapter, right? Lamentation, mourning, and woe, man. Right. That's what's written in the scripture, so that's what we're going to bring out, man. The spirit power, your how about shy? All right. Go ahead, bro. Go to Daniel's first. Yeah. Okay. It's the book of Daniel's, uh, chapter 12, verse 1. <coughs> Finish that. Get this real quick, and then we'll jump to the back. All right. All right. Daniel's 12 and 1. And at that time, shall Michael stand up? What is that time? The time that we're reading of right here in Revelation, right? The time of uh, the hour of temptation, man. Which will come all, all, all upon the whole earth, man. You know, and, and it's gonna say something spiritual too, because it's gonna, it's a test, man. You know, that's really what that time is. You know, for the legs, gonna be a test that we're gonna have to uh, overcome. You know, mm -hmm. and at that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people? Hey, just the fact that the angel, man, the, the angel of war, you know, the, the next in command after Yahweh Shai, man, is gonna come down and. and execute war against the enemy, man, and to deliver us, you know, because yeah, well, that's what he's doing, right, he's going to come swoop us up and, and pick us up in his chariots and, and deliver us from, from the destruction that's going to unfold on the earth, man, you know, but prior to that, hey, the Lord said that he should give his angels charge over us, man, you know, so there's going to be, hey, hey, brothers, hey, Maccabees, bro, the angels yeah, came yeah, down man. and actually started fighting, man, so that's good, that, that, that is going to happen, bro, you know, things of that nature, man. Miracles, things that people are not going to be able to believe. You know, just like when the angel came down in that horse, man, and he was decked out with gold. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I could just imagine the, the, the fear that the enemy felt, man. You know? And that's what the Lord's going to do with his men. You know? yeah. It says, uh, The great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's what Yahweh I gave, uh, when he told the disciples, man, uh, be not happy because the spirits are subject unto you, but be happy that, the, that thy names are written in the tree of heaven. Right? <coughs> right? Because what, what is that? The tree of life, man. That means that you're not going to be part of the judgment that's coming to the earth. 
Yeah. Like we always bring out that movie of uh, the knowing, right? Yeah. Where that, that fire came and where were the seeds at? They were around that tree, right? Mm -hmm. and that's the spiritual part of that yeah, movie. Yeah. You know, how those that are by the tree, the living waters, man, you know, are going to make it, man. They have a... This is the book of uh, back in Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because thou hast kept the word of my patience I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth and that's that's the part I wanted to try them that, that should dwell on the earth that's gonna be a, t a test man you know, uh, your worst nightmare unfolded on the earth for some of you people it's gonna be the like the, the show Lucifer, right? Uh, if you go to hell, I saw that. it's like the, the the most traumatizing, worst experience being played over and over again in hell. Yeah. And that's what people basically are going to experience, right? You know, their worst nightmares, you know, unfolding. You know, a lot of you women getting gonna get raped by these, uh, these bums, these, these people coming out of the jail system. Yeah, it's gonna be bad, bro. It's gonna be like the purge, the movie The Purge. You know, no law. You know, it's gonna be a uh, you know, the law of whatever that dude wants to do to you, you know, people are going to get broken into, robbed, okay, those are the dark, the dark times that the Bible speaks about, man, that we're about to enter into. Hey, bro, if I may say real quick, because uh, going into that, uh, these, these men can't wait to get their hands on you. I was watching uh, this video on Worldstar, and this dude, uh, this, this girl was walking up to the store, and... Um, she was just like ordering something through a window and what happened was a guy he parked his bike and walked up behind this lady and like unzipped his pants and started fucking beating his shit right behind her and fucking spilled his seed all over the back of her legs bro in broad daylight and like it did this shit in broad daylight man like this how thirsty these motherfuckers are and, and these are the same men that when it's lawless, this hits, man, and they they gonna grab hold of you women, man, had you had that way with you. Mm -hmm. See, that shit was like crazy. Like this is the mentality of the people and where we're at in the world today, man. So you can just imagine a nigga would do that shit in broad daylight. What somebody is gonna do when 911 not picking up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always say, it, man, wow. those motherfuckers right now thinking about that shit, bro. They're just waiting. They they, they pray to God, man, that. A day like that will come where there's no cause. Motherfuckers be uh, mm -hmm. kind of fantasizing over the Persian shit, man. They wish that shit actually happened so they could right. go do some foul shit like that, man. Right. You know, well, what the scriptures say, I shall mingle perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I seen that shit. I was like, yeah, the bitch grabbed that shit. Yeah, she was she like, she like, that shit like, like hey. out what and she knew what it was. <laughs> you know, she knew what it was. It's like, damn. <laughs> she couldn't believe it, bro. She was Crazy. like in shock, yeah. like, what the fuck? Where's the hand sanitizer and shit? That's what's coming to me. And that's what the scriptures say, man. Uh, she that is my enemy shall see her. You know, and, 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 uh, what is the other one? Careless women that are at ease, man. You know? It's going to get bad real quick. Especially when you don't got 911. Once that's out the window, man, hey. Once you hear that, that death tone and there ain't nowhere to call, no one to call, no one's going to deliver you. Ain't hey, all those uh, uh, Captain Sable hoes ain't gonna be nowhere to be found, man, because then themselves are gonna be in a very fucked up condition. Yeah. Because you know, those are the, some of the weakest men. You know, those that want to save every hoe and shit, man. Because you don't have the faculties to understand that the bitch probably did something to get that. God. You know? God. Go ahead, bro. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah 30. Yeah. Uh, from the point. Yeah. From Jeremiah 30. Man has a hand to his, to his uh, stomach. Yeah, I got it. It's Jeremiah 30, verse 16. He's asking now and see whether a man does the male child. Mm -hmm. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands and his loins as as a woman in travail, mm -hmm. and all faces are turned into paleness? At last, for, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of deep of trouble, and he should be, and he, but, but he shall be saved out of it. That's what the elect are going to experience. They're going to experience uh, deliverance. From a very uh, hellish condition and a hellish time, because you know, uh, uh, they shall scarcely be safe. You know, so it's going to be like all hell unfolding, man. And yeah, I was shy right before the missiles hit and touched down, because that's what the scriptures say in, in, in the seventh 
the seven trouble shall have no hold on you of the of the or something to effect. You know, because the six trouble, what was it on? If one of your brothers could grab that. The six, the seven trouble shall I deliver thee? Because yeah. right before all hell breaks loose, man, the Yahweh is gonna come through and deliver us, man. Because we're gonna go through the famine, we're gonna go through uh, uh, Jacob's trouble and all these things, man. You know, but the last plague being the missiles, ain't gonna we ain't gonna have no part in that. We're gonna be up in the heavens, man. You know, glad, you know, watching it unfold, you know, watching that fire go yeah. through America, and shit, man. It's gonna be a beautiful sight. Yeah. You know? This is the book of. Uh, I'm gonna start at 17. This is Job chapter five and 17. Behold, happy is the man whom the Most High corrected. Therefore, despise not thou the chastening of the Almighty, for he maketh sore and bindeth up; he wounded and his hands maketh whole. Yea. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, uh, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. Bro, so no evil shall touch thee. Those are the missiles, man. That's the destruction, the, the, the thermonuclear missiles, the arrows being shot from uh, the four parts of the earth you know, into America, Babylon, the Great, man. Now that's that's the hell that the Heavenly Father is bringing to the earth, from which the elect are going to be delivered, man. You know, Lord willing, we of that number. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, we don't want to experience that lake of fire, man. Because that's what's reserved to the wicked, man. So you being partaker of that punishment, hey, it's like, you will eat them like, oh. Like, oh, that shit was reserved for the most vile person, man. And now here you find yourself being, you know, fast, baptized by fire and shit, bro. Yeah. You know, that's, that's, that's scary, bro. That's what the scriptures say. Uh, Blessed are they who, you know, the second death have no part in. Get that real quick, bro. Okay, come on. Cause that, that's 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 what the elect are gonna have, you know, a place where you know no evil, no torment is gonna touch them. And get that other principle, uh, they shall eat, my uh, servant shall eat, and shall rejoice. And we'll pass it down to the next brother after that. You got it right, bro. You got the next speaking. This is uh, Revelation chapter two, okay, and eighteen. Yeah, man, you know, uh, the hell, you know, the scriptures destroy you. Know, describe it as a very uh, evil and hurtful pain that the Lord's going to bring upon those that took the mark and the beast and all that, you know, which is going to be most of our people, man. Two-thirds of our people, they're going to be they're gonna be partakers of that lake of fire, you know? Man, and you think about the lake of fire, like, think, think about, like, what's, what's the biggest fire you ever saw? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You might, hey, you might see like a forest, you know what I'm saying? Especially in Cali. Shit be, you know what I'm saying? There be them wildfires and shit, but... But, hey, you, we never saw an entire land mass on fucking fire, man. We never saw... We don't know what that looked like. To see like an entire fucking land mass on fire. That's why the scriptures talk about how the smoke was ascending up forever and ever. Because once you think that it would look like that, how much smoke is that going, going to produce, man? How to have like an entire fucking landmass on fire. How much soil? Bro, all the shit that's flammable here. Like, come on, man. Like the Lord, by, hey, this, this this destruction is going to be very great that the Lord getting ready to bring, man. So that should invoke fear into you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, to, to, to seek out. The, the way of protection and deliverance out of that, man. That, that's that's hor horrific, man. Damn. Think about it, bro. That, all the oil that's on the on the ground, that's just gonna be ignited. You know what I mean? Uh, the volcano that you know they got this volcano up there in uh, what is it called? Uh, Yosemite, I think it's no, nah, that's not called. Nah, it's up there in like Montana somewhere around there. Is that Yellowstone? I think it's called. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. That shit. They say that shit's supposed to. Yeah. And I think about it. That shit kind of fits in with the prophecy. How America's gonna be a lake of fire. Imagine all that, all that uh, magma and shit that's gonna come out of the earth, man. It's gonna be real hell on earth, bro. Yeah. Shit, when these misses hit, they're gonna break the ground, bro. You know, think about it. You know. If I may say, the the scriptures say in Peter that says the elements shall melt with a fervent heat, uh, and everything everything is made out of some elements. So, like the brother said, concrete, hey, that's gonna melt. That's right. You know? Damn. Hey, when those missiles hit, bro, the motherfuckers just gonna light up the fire. You know, those, those, uh, every city has one, at least one big ass of those tankers where all the oil, they store the oil. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
They got one right here up there in, uh, where is it? In Van Buren and shit, man. Yeah. shit full of oil. Man, that motherfucker be lights up, bro. That's, that should take out a whole fucking city, bro. Right. You know, now, now just imagine all those missiles still hitting it. Come on, bro. Overkill. That's what it says in one hour. Show great riches come to now, man. You know? Yeah. This is Revelation chapter 20 and 6. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. Mm. That's where, you know, we get delivered, man. We, uh, we get beamed out out of this, this hell that's coming. Yeah. It says, on such, a on such the second death hath no power. And what was the first death, man? The, the blood. This is the second death, man, the, which is with fire. So, it says, uh, on such the second death hath no power, but they shall be priests of the Most High and of Hamashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years. Uh, they're going to they're gonna go into that ceremony. So this, this is how it plays out. You know, you go up, then that, we have that ceremony, and then Jerusalem comes down, man. You know, that, this, that new Jerusalem. How long that's going to be, who knows? You know, how it's going to play out, who knows? You know, but we'll, we'll find out. You know, but that's going to happen, man. You know, like they're gonna get crowned, uh, they're gonna. Who knows, man? There's gonna be something fucking. Uh, we want to partake in that. Yeah. We want to partake in that for sure. Yeah. Get those uh, badass garments, you know, yeah. the, 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 the crown, the jewels, uh, you know, the, the women, whatever you want, whatever. <laughs> You're gonna get it, man. Yeah. Get that real quick. Or is it, uh, okay, get your precepts. Huh. See, uh, scripture says, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Right. Say, you don't want to be a partaker of that. But check this out, Jeremiah. This is Joshua, chapter 24, 15. Yeah. And if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve. That's right. Right. All right, so if you think it's bad times, evil going into bad times, you think it's bad times serving the Lord, making your body a living sacrifice, you know, constantly in the word, things like that. You think that's evil. Man, when those missiles touch down, that's, that's way beyond. All right, so if you think it's like, a, if it seems evil unto you, to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve. Whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites if, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That's right. The Lord, bro. Yeah. Take the Lord, take you know, do what you gotta do, man. That's the mindset you gotta have, you know. The long trip, you know. We gotta be here and you know, look at our apostles. We have good examples, right? Thirty-four people. Mm -hmm. yeah, damn, shit. Yeah. Uh, before any, before YouTube, or anything like that, man. You know, they were out there laboring, so you know, we're continuing their labor. So we have a good example. We have a good uh, foundation. So, right. you know, that's why they're worthy of the double honors. You know? We just don't do things to do them, man. Right. There's a purpose we get double right. honors. Mm -hmm. We're just giving them. You know? well, it's like something very spiritual too, if I may say, man. Uh, when we do the Passover, it is it is written about the woman who washed Yahushua's feet. I thought, that, you know, when I came into the truth, I thought that was very spiritual myself, you know, that, that, that uh, scriptures say that it would be a memorial forever, yeah. you know, so that chapter, we read it with the Passover, where, where the, the woman had uh, had did that for Yahweh Shai, we do that, that see, we read that too, so things like that make you understand that this is very spiritual, that we're involved in, man, the apostles and the elders, man, the, hey, man, the Lord could, could very much have set his church upon the earth, man, you know, and the men that run, they could very much be, you know, the prophets, the men, the men that are written in the scripture. <coughs> willing, we're willing. God, we have that, that, that chosen seat. Uh, uh, 7,000 men that did not bow the knee, right? Uh, we always wait Yahweh Shai, man. Because that's what the elect says, man. They were always, uh, you know, even though we, we went through rough paths and all that, our spirit still always wanted to go back to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Wherever, you know, wherever they go. Huh? Oh, they, uh, another they, shall they shall they not follow? Man? You know? Everything we went through our world, you were just preparing us for the, what we what we involved right now, man. You know, the things that happened. Uh, me and my brother was talking about you know, the people that have been taken from our lives, people that have been added to it. It's all playing into what we have right now. You know, I me mean, myself, you know, my my path. Shit, I, I thought I was gonna be in LA, and now I'm here with these brothers, man. So there you go. You know, you don't really know what's gonna happen or what the Lord has planned for you in store for you, but. You just roll with it and you, you do what you got to do, man. You know, for you, how about Shemel Shark? Regardless of what anybody tells you, whatever your, your family tells you, whoever's trying to fucking quench your spirit, man, fuck all that, man. Just keep keep, keep, keep trekking along, man. Keep fighting. Matter of fact, if we, if we may, brother, if you could get that in um, uh, 
they follow the lamp. And that's a beautiful scripture, man. Because you know, the brother, uh, me, this brother, have spoke one time. You know, uh, you know, this brother told me too one time. He's like, man, the things you have went through. You know, what I'm saying before you came into the truth. Hey, that was that that all that had to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? Like like sometimes you sit back and you wonder, oh, I wish this didn't happen. But actually, that 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 is that that actually had to happen to mold you into the man that that that, that, that you are now. You know, you had you had to have go through them turbulent times and different trials and tribulations and different bad experiences to really help you uh, push the truth. You use all that experience to to help you paint this picture, man. Right. It's on the book of Revelations, chapter 14, and uh, verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women. Mm -hmm. The bullshit of the world, man, which our people are heavy into. Right? For they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithsoever he goeth. So what does it mean by being virgins? That they're not uh, defiled with the uh, philosophies of the world, man. They're pure in the Heavenly Father's eyes. Yeah. Go ahead. God. These were redeemed from among men yep, we all came from the world right yeah we're all, we're all how do i say like fully into the world right? mm -hmm. he, he was in the world he was about the world yep. or some more than others the world was saying yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and some brother man shit, <laughs> they're going through it you know? some brothers were you know doing other things it all depends man but it doesn't matter really now you know? yeah. it just those are the things you had to go through Go ahead, bro. Right. Fuck it. it says these were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. The first fruits to, the, to what, bro? Unto the Most High and unto the Lamb. You see, the first spirit created. Mm -hmm. The first, the first of the family line. Man. Mm -hmm. you know? So that's that's how it, we keep saying, right? That this is a very spiritual thing, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's a very, very spiritual thing. Even to the time that you were awoken, man, it all had to happen that that particular way. It couldn't happen all the way. It's just the way the Lord ordained it, man. So, right? Even if you had that spirit at first, like, nah, I can't be the truth. That can't be the truth. And slowly but surely, it became more and more uh, believable because you're fulfilling scripture. But it says that through uh, 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 every man be persuaded in his own mind that this is it. Uh, the different brothers take different times. I mean, I saw what well, year I found out and he was in the world. You know, for that little cool period, and you start building up that spiritual faith till you go out to the camp and you know, you start doing it. It's all about man timing. My father works with timing. It's meticulous. Wow. Yeah, One more verse. Verse five. And in their mouth was found no guile. No guile. Yep. Yeah. For they are without fault before the throne of the Ooh. Most High. That's beautiful. There's a song. There's a song that said, uh, <laughs> "This is the man whom the Lord will not impute sin upon." What does that mean? That whatever you did, be you know, Lord winked at him. He was like, "All right, I got you." Through Yahweh Shai sacrifice. Right. Right. And the, the elect, all the elect have have that over them. You know, all the elect are going to be found blameless before the throne. It tells you that too in the book of uh, Revelation. Jump to that Jeremiah. Then. Oh, so like the, brother, uh, there's a little the last of it, brother. All right, come on. This is Revelation uh, chapter 14 and uh, verse 6. And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven. Having the everlasting gospel. Oh no no no! Uh, the very last of that, the, the verse above that one. Okay. It says, "Found um, without guile, and this is they follow the Lamb." So. Okay, I'll go back up. Con. Okay, con. It's uh, Revelation chapter four and uh, verse uh, verse four. It says, uh, "I'll just start running back so I can." It says, "These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men." being the first fruits unto the Most High and unto the Lamb. And there, and in their mouth was found no guile, and they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. That was nice. You wanted the other one, that's why. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, 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 the gospel, we talked about the Lamb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where were you reading? Revelation 14 and 4. Because that, that's, that's, uh, that, 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 you know, that that means that the you know through all your 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 incarnations that you've been on the earth, man, you you were always part of the event. You were always looking and searching for Yahweh Shai. You know, and, 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 and so it's no no coincidence that we're standing here, man. That's why we, we, we humbly say we're the whole four left. Because why are we here? Why do we come out here uh, week in and week out? Why do we 
uh, uh, you know, sacrifice our life. You know, I remember me and this brother were speaking one time, like, man, we, we spent our life to do this. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, uh, uh, a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they uh, Saturday they have whole activities and, and they're totally like, not they're devoted to something else. We're devoted to this. And there's a reason why, man. Because Lord willing, you know right. saying that we endure to the end, man. We, we could be those men that were that were that were created, you know, they were that that separated from the foundation of the world to always follow Yahweh Shai. That's why, um, you know, and you know, some brothers say that. Some brothers say that when they was in the world, man, they always had a they always went to church. And brother Karatz always be speaking about that too, man. I always went to church, man. I always wanted to go to uh, uh, learn about God. I always wanted, to, you know, brothers had that spirit, man. Yeah. You know, that's why scripture say we had a we had a zeal, but not according to we had a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Was, so I was a Jesus freak. You know what I mean? It's, my brother used to clown on me like, hey, why you always want to go to church? I, I was telling Karate about too, man. Yeah, man, I always wanted to go to church too. It was Jesus, but you know, we nonetheless, you know, we wanted to be godly, so you know. Zeal. Get that that's all I see the window or say that's a revelation. The one where it says, uh, and they follow the land whatsoever he goeth, yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Obviously, the revelation 14 and 14 and 4. Yeah, that's what I read. You read it? Yeah. I'm prepping. It's a lot. No, I was looking for it. That's crazy. Because there's another one that says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know that. And they follow That's in John. John 10. God, God, my bad, my bad. Oh, you good, huh? But the, the point being, man, that, hey, that's that's what the, the lambs of the Lord is going to do. And the Lord's going to take care of them. You know what I'm saying? We'll just end out with the uh, book of Isaiah. Book of Isaiah, chapter, I, it's like, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord power, Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. That's the, uh, things are going to play out. Just like right now, we're sad and you're happy. Well, it's going to turn upside down. Right? Gonna go, we're going to rejoice. And everybody else, all you people that are partying out right now, that are, you know, within family and whatever bullshit you're involved in, when, when all hell breaks loose, man, you're, you're going to be one of those... Uh, Statistics of the heavenly father, man, that killed him, that he killed him. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it says that in the next verse. To back up. Verse, verse 14 <laughs> Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of uh. heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. Hey, think about it, bro. Oh, hell, Damn. we're probably going to hear screams outside. Like, it's going to be bad. And we're going to be rejoicing, bro. We're going to be yeah. sipping, probably like <laughs> cracking jokes and shit. Like, hey, brothers, you know. There, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how's we gonna be telling each other, like, man, but I can't wait till I get my, my, my crib, my land, my animals. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go on a big ass, a long ass cruise throughout the ocean. And that's what I'm hoping for, bro. Like, get, a, get one of them old school ships and shit, like the ones from the 1500s. Yeah, and just yeah. take that shit around the world, bro. That's right, fly as well. Ride a horse, you know, I mean, I always want to ride a horse and shit. Yeah, you know? fly, you know? things of that nature, man. Hey, if I may say, um, in the pandemic, man, the pandemic, like, like. You know, we, we kind of like, for a second was like, you gotta stay inside, we was tripping, but when we was getting together, remember at Tazar and stuff, we was, we was, remember, we was popping bottles, bro, yeah. we was just having fun, yeah. you know? God. We was happy, man, because we yeah, saw, yeah. saw the yeah. end of it, you know, even though it didn't play out that day, that time, you know. And the Lord putting the spirit, that spirit on us, man, like, man, fuck this place, man, yeah. let that shit go to hell, man. Yeah. Hey, this place going down is us going up, man. That's right. So, Parting us under the times. Uh, Esau is the end of this world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows it. Go ahead, finish it, Yeah, It says, uh, My servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Howl, howl, bro. Like, dang, howl. The fuck is going to turn into wolves and shit, bro. This is going to be bad, bro. Yeah. People yes. cry, people, mm -hmm. you're not being able to eat, bro. That's that's going to create something in you. Well, just think about it, bro. Uh, they had, I don't know if I saw that video in China, all the people that were locked out, mm -hmm. they were screaming, bro, like they wanted to get out. You, you seen that video? Yeah. 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 When, it, when it was like somebody was like from their balcony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You could just hear the, uh, it was the area as well. 
crying, bro, the lamentation, because you, you couldn't go anywhere even though you wanted to go somewhere. That's what's coming, man, on, on, on steroids. You know, 1,000 unfolded here in America by the great. Right. Because like we always say, the Lord will serve the best for less, yeah. which is here. This is the, the main dish, man, so to speak. Yeah, and you, you, you better believe it ain't going to be people out there that's going to be as generous as that girl that took that dude in out of the blizzard, man. Because in that time of famine, there ain't going to be people that's going to be so 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 uh, so uh charitable in that day that are willing to share the little bit of food that they got left with your hungry ass, man. That, that's not going to happen. So it's going to be a totally different mentality, like the brother has said, in, in, in those times because... Uh, desperation from hunger is a different mindset you know that 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 make you crazy on a level that most people can't comprehend man and nobody is thinking about uh, morals nobody is thinking about being an upstanding fucking citizen in a day where they desperate to feed themselves and their families so when people go hey this is say because a nickel you shall bound a love of many should wax cold Hey, you're gonna see people, they, they're gonna switch that switch on where they're gonna be cold and heartless trying to, you know, just to survive, you know? And people are gonna be looking at the things that you could potentially do to them if you let them in. Ain't gonna be like, oh, you know, uh, you know what can you help? Nah, it's gonna be like, what can you take from me? Yeah. You know, see, if I, if I leave my, my, my uh, bar down, this dude might kill me while I sleep. Exactly. But things like that is why, you know, people. You're gonna be cold, bro. Yeah. It's really gonna be well. The scriptures themselves say what the, the those that the, the, your foes should be they of the household, man. There's gonna be people that you grew up with, man. Your cousins might be living with you, you know. That's gonna have that throw that knife on your throat when you're sleeping and you wake up and he take everything from you. Yeah. Well, the scriptures speak about the children turning against parents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that. You know that, 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 that's a, that's a cold situation right there. We we're show that in the chilly. movies. We're gonna be chilly, man. That's the difference, bro. We're gonna be chilly. That's why we make a big deal out of that scripture that we're gonna be rejoicing. Right? Yeah. Read it one more time, bro. Yeah. Uh, the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 65 and uh, verse 13. It says, Therefore, thus saith the Lord Power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. You shall be thirsty, man. <laughs> you know, uh, severe thirst. You know, lips are attracted shit. Dehydrating. You know, you got that sick, super cotton mouth. You know, <laughs> it's gonna be bad, bro. You know? It's gonna be real bad, and, and you know that's what we're being protected from. Right? Also, uh, why would this be in the scriptures? Why would it say somebody, some servants are gonna eat and some is gonna not eat, man? So I'm gonna let you know. That, that God that you had in your mind, that he's all love, you're going to see, man, he's going to start drawing a line. You know, <laughs> somebody's going to eat, somebody's going to not eat, man. You yeah. know, somebody's going to be calling upon the Holy Father, somebody's going to get answered, somebody's going to get that, that dial tone, you know. <laughs> Seriously, I, it says, uh, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right, why are you going to be ashamed? Because you, you, you turned your back when the Holy Father was, had his hand stretched out towards you. Then he says, call upon whoever, whoever you normally call upon. That's how he's going to yeah. respond to you, you know. Second, to say, uh, uh, the same should know it by death, uh, in pain, uh, by pain. So, you know, it's gonna be bad, man. A lot of the might be there. They saw the scripture said that my servant shall weep. We're gonna be, in, in a, we're gonna be happy in that time. You know, hey, the, the scripture says in Proverbs that the Lord's gonna laugh at the calamity of the wicked. So he's like, so we're, he's gonna, he's, we're gonna be in that same mindset. We're gonna be laughing at this people, man. Right? We're going to be laughing at, at their calamity. We're going to be laughing at, at their downfall, man. Yeah. They're like, yeah, good. Like, yeah, I'm glad that motherfucker got here. <laughs> it's like in the movies, bro, yeah. when you see a motherfucker that you hate, and he gets this gruesome death, yeah. you even celebrate that shit. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, you know, that's, that's going to be us. Yeah, that's, gonna be, that's going to be part of the recompense of the Lord's going to give us right? towards our enemies, man. You're going to be glad to see that you even might smart yeah. right there, man. Yeah. Because you know, it was me and his brother were just mentioning that, because you know that the Edomites deserve destruction. Right. Yeah. You know that even two thirds of our own people deserve destruction. So you're like, hey, it is what it is, man. You just gotta be happy. You know what I'm saying? That, they, they, uh, you know, seek out the, uh, the, the, what is it? Seek out, you know, that are, you know. You know that be like, the exactly. Like that. That's yeah. what, you know, that, because, because 
The Lord's over, the Lord's putting a separation between people now. You know what I'm saying? Between the righteous and who are following the Most High and speaking sincerity, and those that are not. If you take it a step further, man, the Lord's going to allow us to, to go out there and most likely be with those men to be hunters, man. Yeah. To go and go and, and, and wreak havoc on these on these, uh, these Edomites, man. Uh, well, I'm going to put this right yeah, here yeah, yeah. real quick. Psalms 18 and 40. If thou art also giving me the next of my enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. Mm. It says they cried, but there was none to save them. <laughs> Even unto the most high, but he answered them not. <laughs> then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, but they cast about as dirt in the streets. You <laughs> might have Edomites calling on Yahweh Shai, bro. Come deliver me, you know. Vocab yeah. below, that's gonna be you. <laughs> it's gonna be bad, bro. It was gonna be that bad. That <laughs> even the enemy, you know, they're gonna call you. You got it, bro. I'll give my bonus just real quick, bro. Go ahead, go ahead. It says, verse 43, Thou was delivering me from the strivings of the people. And so that's what's gonna happen, man. We're gonna be delivered from, from the calamities going out there. If thou was made me the head of the heathen, a people who shall not know shall serve me, and that's gonna be the kingdom, man, where the heathen are gonna fall down to us. So we're gonna be co inheritors when you're uh, you know, shy, man. Going back to Psalm the second chapter, uh, ask him, being I shall give you the heat for that inheritance, man. Go ahead, bro. Hey, that day. <laughs> hey, the name's gonna be clear that day with all of these other Israelite camps, too, man. You know, like Nate, you know, you're gonna, I bet his ass is gonna be calling him the Heavenly Father, man. Just like he did when, you know, he, he encountered that situation, man. You know, they only call on the Lord when they need him, man. But we call on the Lord all the time. We always need him. Right. We have that mindset where we know we need him all the time. When pride creeps up in there, man, and you start thinking you don't need the Lord, man. Yeah, that's scary right there. Yeah. But uh, let's end up with that one further. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 7 and 18. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things. And these are the things that we're going into right now. You know, even right now, you know, financial situations are not the best sometimes. You know, uh, a woman giving you hell, man. We're giving you hell. No. Go ahead, bro. It says, nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide. The wide represents the kingdom, man. That's where our hope is at. Like the Lord's going to reward us for everything we're going through. For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. So, two thirds of our people, man, they're, they're going through it like we've gone through it. Probably even worse. Yeah. They're struggling. To Provide for their household. Well, y'all, y'all are going through it, but you're not gonna see the, the, the wide man. You know, you're gonna suffer in your sins, dying your sins, man. And in that thermal nuclear missiles, or even before that, you know, through famine, through, you know. And think about it. Like when that, when those missiles hit, just think about how bad the people are already gonna be in. Uh, you know, fuck, it's probably gonna want that fire to hit them, man. Right? How bad is it gonna? Because it's prior to that, it's gonna be hell on earth, man. You know. Now you're just gonna receive the physical hell, which is the thermal nuclear missiles. Yeah. That fire, man, to clean all the scum. Uh, that's all America is scum. Yeah. It says, For they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things, and yet shall not see the why. Yeah, so there you go, man. But we, our hope is that we're going through this so that. Uh, it's working in as a, a great reward, man. Mm -hmm. You know, eyes that, eyes that, what was that? I have not seen or ear have heard what the Lord has in store for them that love him. Right. So, mm -hmm. that's, that's where we, that's where our faith is at, man. Mm -hmm. In Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai. Right. Right. All right. All right. <coughs> <coughs> I read one Yeah. Give me a detail for your verse 9. Come on, let's just a little bit. I'm going to get into real quick. Basically, that people do not know the Lord, bro. People think that the Lord is this very nice, kind, and tender, mercy person, bro. But she is. You no, know, the Lord is full of mercy and kindness. That is half of it. Got that Ezekiel quick? Yep. This is the book of Ezekiel, uh, chapter 3, verse 1, right? Yeah. Come. Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. You go, eat, I gotta eat the roll, man. You gotta eat every, every single part of it. You can't, just, you can't just cherry pick scriptures. But like, like this, man, you know, the Lord is merciful. The Lord has had mercy upon only Israel, but he's also a great, a great and terrible power, man. He's a terror, man. Look at this real quick. So, this is what happens when you don't turn the most high. Say the most high calls you in this, and just like cuts away his hand. 
Ultimately, at the end of the day, it's up to the Lord. God, it's Proverbs chapter 1, uh, verse 24. In fact, start at verse... Start at verse 23. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 23. It says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because that's because on that's the mercy of the most high. He said, hey, I turn, I turn back, come back to the word, I'll give my spirit unto you, I'll make I'll make you know my words known unto you. Give you the knowledge, what is understanding, I'll be delivered out of this. It says, uh, because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. See, Moses, he said, Lord, see that. The Lord starts to say, the Lord gave that opportunity, basically. Like, hey, you know, come back to the truth, I'll give you, basically, I'll give you knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the whole universe, basically. Because that's what it is, but this truth, man, is honestly the wisdom of the universe. Because you understand, this wisdom will help you, you know, how to, how to, you know, the whole, it's a dietary law, right? How to be clean, how to be a man, how to walk, how to talk to people, how to talk to other nations, how to deal with them, man. How to be a man, how to be a good father, basically. I think my brother, I'll pull that earlier. I'm oh, sorry, I can't. Oh, this, oh, this is a uh, situation we had years ago. Like, you know, the scripture does talk about a lot of things. Right. Uh, right. Proverbs 1 and 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none, and would none of my reproof. Okay, so she decided to dismiss the most high, like, you know, I ain't picking up. I don't want to do any of that. The Lord does require an effort, basically. The Lord does not want you to sit on your ass all day and show up. Like song, and Christian, right? They show up maybe Sunday, maybe every Sunday, maybe twice a year on Christmas and Easter. Even that's when they do that. Right? Yeah. I, I know there's one former dude, bro, at work, he's like, like, yeah, I'm more like, he's horrible, right? Like, he's like, yeah, I'm more like, yeah, I'm more like, yeah, I'm more like, at all. Like, whatever, really. Like, that shows that you show a dedication to your God, basically. Yeah. Yeah. As a uh, Proverbs 1 and 26, I also will laugh <laughs> at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Now I see the Lord it does have a whole sense of humor. The Lord is cold, bro. You think, oh, that's fucked up laughing at other people's mishaps and that's what you mean. The Lord will laugh at your calamity. Lord, Lord, Lord. God. It says, uh, I will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. The Lord will mock you when shit's going wrong with you because you decide not to turn the most high, man. Imagine that. Imagine if you're just in a, in a, in a, say, like a psych, uh, a psychiatric world, right? Bro, your mind's going insane. You're getting like right. schizophrenic stuff like that. The Lord is mocking you. Yep. The Lord is making fun of you, like, or like staying in a trouble, car accident. The Lord mock you because of all that shit happens. You know why? When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early. But they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. So you see, they hated knowledge. It's you reject the Most High first, therefore the Lord will reject you. And I see people who think that the Lord is all cool by y'all, all the beasts. Now they try to portray movies, start portraying a lot of things, bro. But the truth is, hey, he's a terrible, he has a terrible power, bro. He will fuck you up if you don't turn to the Most High. I say he is a he is a great mercy power. You know, he'll lift you up. He'll help you through your affliction. He will fall down. He'll still pick you up. But if you, hey, you mess around the Lord, no, well, that's not that's not that's that's not that's not that you look for, bro. It's a great fact. Get on. It's Second Corinthians five verse ten. And get on. Malachi three verse six. You understand? Look at that first verse. These people think the Lord. You think even you know, they have like a knowledge of the Bible, right? They think like, oh, the Lord changed. From the Old Testament to the New Testament. Now we're dealing with a new way, a new way of hospitals like that, man. All right, it is not it is a lot more faith based than before, but the Lord did his change still, man. The Lord is still the most high. You know? God, Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. He doesn't change, bro. Same man he was before, same man he was now. He did not, he did not change, he's not changing because, because he wants everyone in this truth. He's like, oh yeah, the Lord changed because he wants everybody, he wants everyone to accept the gospel and possibly know him, though. The Lord, you know, yeah, you have servants, you see, you have servants in the, in the, you have servants, you have, have slaves, basically, in the kingdom, man. The Lord does not give a fuck about everybody. <coughs> That's true thing. The Lord does not care about a lot of people. What? So, no, um, he talked about, if I get it real quick, uh, it's a dumb, to me, um, which are born in vain. Okay. You got up?
It's uh, Second Ezra chapter eight in uh, verse fifty. It reads, it "says For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the later time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride." Wait. Um, said more miseries. Uh, yeah. Uh, Okay, I got it. Uh, second Ezra 9 and 22. Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 22. That the multitude perished then, which was born in vain. That's a that's cool thing. Uh, because a lot of people think that what's the meaning of life? What's this? What's that? The truth is, a lot of you don't have meaning. Man. That's, that's, man, that's man. a cool stuff. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's, uh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> as, I, as I say, as you're gonna say, it's not, it's not, that's just gonna fail the word, bro. That's fail the word. It's a stupid. A lot of your. Get the word. Uh, <laughs> funeral. Pretty sick, brother. Okay, I'm gonna get it in, uh, at a. At a uh, at a mullet. Yeah. Hey, if I can say, I, you're so right about that. Um, uh, a lot of people uh, are born in vain, man. When we come into this knowledge, we try to teach our, our cousins and brothers. We try to give them a reason to live, man. Because uh, we can see that they don't have really a purpose. That's why they be talking about, man, I might just go and kill myself. Man. You don't really have a purpose. This truth will give you a purpose to live, man. Or if you got children that you love your children so bad, Scripture says uh, he that uh, turned his way from hearing the law of the Lord, he will even forget your children. Man. So we try to give you a reason to live, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, this, is, this is the way of life, bro. And the way of life also leads to great reward. If you do like the very most on your left. Yeah, God. It says, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain, and let my great be kept. And my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. I didn't really care about a small part. Small amount matters. Even today, now I know it's like I don't know. Like, the big, there's a big uh, trend on social media for calling all the people NPCs, bro. And a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people are just there just to be there because I think about movies, bro. When you watch a movie, everybody just the actors, it looks all empty. It looks like oh, where the hell is everybody else? So hey, a lot of people, they're just they're just there. Their life truly mean it truly is meaningless. <laughs> like that's not, that's some cool that's some cool shit honestly bro. You got that uh yeah man. Con, this is uh the word vain in uh Edelman online. It says Damn, it says devoid of real value. Damn, hey, you're, you're basically <laughs> worthless. <laughs> Damn. No, it's a, a the next word it says it says idle. It says unprofitable. It says from the old French worthless. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, invalid, feeble, and uh, it says conceited, um, empty. Then it says figuratively fruitless. Damn. <laughs> so now that I said people, people are born worthless. Yeah. So like, that, that's some cool stuff, man. But the truth is, hey, if you don't, if you're not, if you're not gonna get the truth, you're not really. It's a, you're really no one, basically. Gordon and Stacey see you is basically no one. Just like, like I said, that's the most of the, they say, um, that real quick, the outro music, you can begin that mic as the inheritance. I'm not going to stop. Don't say it, Joe. Okay, I got it. Psalms uh, chapter 2 and uh, verse 8. It says, ask of me. And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. You give the heathen, you get the face of the most, bro. Moab, Moab, all of that, man. This is the inheritance. That's how, that's just how low the Lord, the Lord sees these other nations, man. I just, uh, I think it's a good way, basically, to, to, to Israel, basically. Well, that's yeah. what's a foremost talk about the Holy Shad. You know, giving, you know, having the Bible for the heritage. My Lord, Lord. Like, like you said earlier, those things that my Lord, Lord. are going to get the service also. Yeah, basically, a lot of people are just born just to be there, bro. And I've seen they say, Lord does not care. I said, Lord does not really care about a lot of, a lot of y'all. People will think the Lord is all cool by y'all, all peaceful. Uh, when you come to the Lord, the Lord is going to bless you and multiply everything you have, everything all good. And never know, man. The Lord is going to put you through shit, bro. The Lord is going to put you the worst hell sometimes. You say, He's a just, He's a just and righteous power. You want the. Uh, cause you said the Lord is, you know, just and righteous, you know, and He executes true judgment. Um, and and our people, as a as a whole nation, we we are going through hell. We and we caught hell. We went through hell for hundreds of years. Look at all the various captivities that we had to serve. 
and that was all because of our disobedience. Um, so we, you know, honestly, our people, what, what we have to do is we got to learn to take some responsibility for our actions, man. The reason why we in this lowest state is because of the things that we have done, okay, going against our heavenly power. It says, uh, this is prayer of Azarias, uh, verse... I'll start at verse 6. It says, For we have sinned and committed iniquity, uh, departing from thee. It says, In all things we have trespassed and not obeyed thy commandments, nor kept them, neither done as thou hast commanded us, that it might go well with us. See, we didn't do the things that the Lord commanded us to do, so now we're in this this, this bad position, man. What, hey, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we're doing bad, bro. You know, and, 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 and like the brother is talking about, man, a lot of you, hey, you're showing that you make up that number that was born in vain. You show it through your actions because a lot of our people are still living this way. You see, it says, verse 8, it says, Wherefore all that thou hast brought upon us and everything that thou hast done to us, thou hast done in true judgment. All right? Because this is the, 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 the righteous judgment of the Lord. Okay? If you sin, what? The wages of sin or what? Death. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the Lord has, uh, you know, he'll, he'll correct you and he'll chastise you, okay, that if you go off the path to get you back on the right path, all right? And, and then from going off and having several warnings and, and, and continuing to repeat the same uh, mistakes, then the Lord set all these other nations up over us, man. You see, when, when it's ultimately supposed to be the other way around. But real quick, verse 9, it says, And thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the Most High, and to an unjust king, and the most wicked in all the world. Man, we've been delivered to the most wicked in all the world. Okay, these devils, right? Esau, Edom. You see what I'm saying? And that's why we come out to these highways and byways to, to, to tell our people that it, hey, it's high time to awake out of sleep, repent, and turn away from your wicked ways before it's too late. Before the doors of mercy are closed, man. You see? And and, and the elect are gonna get this message before the Lord brings forth that great destruction. You know, so so that they may be delivered too. Alright, I think um, earlier today, I think Russia will send another another uh, another missile to Ukraine. You say, hey bro, say hey, this time is not it's not slowing down, not time to, like what should we do in the next five years, or oh, next five years I'm gonna do this or on vacation, start family stuff. No man. Right now that the time is to get right. Yeah. Because, baby, you don't know how much how much longer we have. Because it could be tonight that uh, the internet gets shut up. If it's tomorrow, we don't know, basically. In fact, what's his, um, turn off the board day to day? Put off the Lord day to day, you want that? Yeah. Right. Okay, Con. Uh, this is uh, Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. Uh, and it reads, Sirach, chapter 5, verse 7. It says, Make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Next month, next month, my new resolution is just send you the phone, man. Yeah. The best thing you do is what you can do today. Uh, like what? Like tomorrow? Like shit happens tomorrow. Yeah. They're like, shit, I, yeah, you're, you could be like on your way to do something, your car could break down. Or you gotta go to something, or something happened in your family, you gotta do that real quick. Yeah. And say, so you got time today, why not just do it today, basically? Yeah. There's, there's plenty of people. It's even people, people walk out today. He said, "Oh, I'm gonna learn tomorrow." It seems to be today. I'm not put off the Lord day to day. Why is it so good? God says, "For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth." For suddenly, because you're not you're not gonna see it coming. You guys seem like all oh, your children are relaxed. Nothing's all good. You know, there's those men. Uh, she called her crazy. There's saying crazy stuff. What it says for? It says, "For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou should be destroyed." So when you're Peace and safety when you just chill and relax. And, hey, the Lord is going to destroy you. Uh, and perish in the day of vengeance. Constant. Right now is the time to realize who is the most high. Who is the Lord, basically? Yeah. Is, he, uh, is the Lord just all peace and mercy? Or is the Lord all, all vengeance? Or he's both? Because at the end, he's a balanced power. Right. He has mercy He has mercy for some. And say, wait, say mercy and judgment. Basically, bro. Even as Israel has mercy upon us, if he'll give judgment to us, because we, how, because we go off. So we got that on. Um, I'll get, I get this real quick. Okay. Get this. What you want to get? Oh, that's second, second, second Corinthians yeah. five. Come back in uh, Second Corinthians, the fifth chapter. 
Uh, going 10th verse, right? Yes, in the first Come on. Second Corinthians 5, verse 10 reads, it says, For we must... Uh, right, actually, it's not a verse, um... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the first time, yeah. Come on. It says, Second Corinthians 5 and 10, it says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Yes, sir. So, as time, are you going to give a reward? Or are you get judgment? Yeah. And he's like, at the end of the day. And if you do right, if you do right, the most side, the most side will bless you. The most side will reward you. But if you do wrong, you decide to keep doing wickedness, like it, like truth of Israel is doing, hey, they're going to get judged for that, man. Maybe they'll throw me new missiles. Yep. Imagine that. You're actually you're on the top of your game, right? You're like, all right, I'll finally, finally got enough money to start a business. Finally ready to start my, start my life and become millionaires. The Lord destroys all of that. That could happen at any moment to anyone, bro. You can happen to Jake right now. He can go on, 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 on the way to the bank, ask, getting ready for the whole loan, and he gets struck down by a car. Uh, That's the way the Lord can do it, man. Uh, 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 verse 11 says, Knowing that therefore the terror of the Lord. Knowing for the terror. The Lord is a, ter is a terror, man. You can see about it, bro. Wait, he's, um, he was sent to you know, destroy Sodom, Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. It wasn't a pretty sight, man. Bro, it was it was hell dog. It wasn't no like oh this they all peacefully just went to sleep this and that. No bro. It was some it was some terror on that shit, man. Damn. Uh, it says uh cause that I was just thinking about that video I saw, man, with that dude with, with his head, his fingers was all fat and they were turning green and shit, man. And and to the point where like if, if somebody don't give him some real medical attention, them shits are just gonna start falling off, bro. I can't imagine the pain. You see what I'm saying? And that's that's the terror of the Lord. Like he knows how to, how to afflict you in a way that you you will be looking for death and you won't be able to find it. You know? That's what the Lord is gonna do to a lot of our people. What's it? Um, I mean, Egypt, right? He made a thick darkness, right? Uh, and he's like, like, I hear it like sounds like oh, I mean, water is like right, right, right. So like, imagine that like, you don't know where you are and you hear this, you hear this beast near you. You're like, where the hell is? Like, you can't find where it is. That's, right. that's some scary shit, bro. Like honestly, like, imagine like you hear like the big guys roar behind you, like what the fuck? And you can't like, see it. Yeah. Like, bro, you could be trying to move out the way and be moving towards it. You wouldn't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's fucked up. Uh, but back in 2 Corinthians 5 and 11, it says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and our trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Hey, man, so you got to be trust the Most High, man. Like, all right, this is, this, is the, this is the hell that I might, I might catch if I don't turn back. All right, let's, let's, let's go do the work. Let's go do what right, what I do to be righteous, man. Right. Right. Forget all the forget the world, man. The world has nothing for you no more. What here in Arizona, right? I think the average house is like three hundred thousand, like five hundred, five hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Being a millionaire means nothing no more. God. Like you make a million dollars, you, you barely live in America. You barely did. <laughs> so like damn, like the world ain't got nothing left, bro. The money ain't going. The money is getting higher and higher. The price is getting higher and higher, and yet it's cheap building shit. For no one, every, every time I go to the camp, I look at these houses and like, like, who the hell is living in these houses, bro? Like, yeah. there's, there's two expenses, like, who's gonna live there? Bro, and hey, you know one thing they do uh, with these houses now, too? Because uh, $500,000 to get you, like, the, you know, like some mediocre shit, bro. And that's, that's insane. But with a lot of these new build houses that they have, they have no fucking backyards. You know, we, hey, I, I don't know, when I grew up, like I grew up in a house, man, we had some yard space. Mom always sent our ass out the house, man. It's like, get your ass out there and play. We'll be outside running around the yard playing. There's no fucking yard space in these houses no more, man. Just like they build the apartments, that, that's kind of how they build the houses now. The houses are right up on each other and shit. All you got is room on the side to sit your fucking garbage cans, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's it. So that, that just goes to show you, man, this shit just circling the drain, man. Quality of life here ain't shit. I, I, I saw this, like, a house in the corner. I just I was, like, looking at like, like, all the houses from the backyard. And it's like, that that life comes to, to the camera. That's about it. That's it. Like, goddamn, like, you want to pay, like, 450 k for this? Like, right. what the fuck? <laughs> you got 50 stuff up? Yeah, something, uh,
Uh, <laughs> no, I passed. You, you're gonna. Because you, could you, you are, you are mentioning about the, the fertility of, of life here in Babylon, right? and you also mentioned about uh, making the uh, military to turn to the Lord, and you also mentioned also uh, all these people out there that they're really they're consumed with their own self and turn to the Lord, right? And you was you was on Sirach for a few chapters. I'm gonna try to push more. It says, "Set thy heart upon, set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life." Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy, thy heart. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely be a thy pride, man. Wow. So, and that's what's going to to a lot of people out there, man. A lot of people, you know, they, they think that, uh, well, Esau right now is saying that we don't need the most high. Yeah. We, we have the science, the technology to live forever. We, we discover how to, how to prolong our lives, so on and so forth, man. And so, so the Lord's going to... Revenge their fucking pride, man. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna, she's gonna uh, shut down that shit real quick because he was said that uh, the triumph from the wicked is, is short, but I'm paraphrasing, man. Uh, and so, so these people out here, man, they're gonna get a rude awakening, you know. And, and, and only those, only those men that the Lord put the Spirit on are gonna truly repent and turn to the Most High, man. That's talking about the elect, you know, the one third, man. So, uh, God's real for you, right? It's just like the, say, say the, the internet just goes down completely, right? Right. So what? That's your that's your banking, that's your that's your um, that's your job. That's that's all the that's all the information you get. That's your basically your your time you're talking to your family, your friends, stuff like that. All that's gone in a sec. So, hey, so, so during the pandemic, they they were selling out of Bibles, man. So what happened to all that that zeal? That these people had, right? What happened to all that zeal for the Lord that these people had left? Oh, oh, I gotta get myself right. Because uh, there's, there's, there's a disease out there that's, that's killing people by the millions. You know, so what happened to all that, man? You know, so that just shows you in times of panic, people cry to the Lord, man. But but it, but the, but the thing about it, it's gonna be too late. Man. I say yeah, it's be too late. It's just, it's just, the, the prophet's been out for years, bro. Yeah. They say we've been telling you. Things about to happen, man. And yet you're like, oh, that's nothing. That's nothing. Oh. Even when COVID-19 hit, I remember this. When COVID-19 hit, they were before it got here, right? Like, oh, that's not, that's nothing. Don't worry about it. It's just a flu. It's not. And like, they came like, oh, it's just one case here and there, whatever. And then to be clear, the whole world went on pan on panic mode lockdown. Yeah. So yeah, they, they, even they, even that, they heard the warning. Of, like, hey, the is coming. You better get right. It's like, oh, now for us, it's fine. And people were panicking about masks and social distancing and all that shit, man. You know, people were getting mad at you if you walk into a place without a mask. Because yeah. they, they looked at you as a threat to their fucking life. Right. So, hey, these people are easy to, to, to control and manipulate. And that, that's all that was, was a test of control and manipulation among the masses of these people, man. It's like people were afraid to shake your hand and shit, man. Yeah. Even to this day, I, I, like, I can't even, I don't feel too comfortable shaking my fucking hand because... You know, they would look at you weird when you were trying yeah. to shake your hand before, bro. So yeah. I don't even do it no more. Yeah. You just do that fist bump and shit. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you don't wash your hands, man. Never, man. I see, I see that in my fucking bathroom. They never wash your goddamn hands. Yeah, yeah, I was at the plantation one like, I'm in the, I'm, I'm washing my hands, and I, I look at the motherfucker come out the, the toilet, the shitter, bro. I'm like, okay, this is kind of way to wash his hands. So I, I gotta get out the way so you wash your fucking hands. The motherfucker walks outside, bro. I'm like, God, fuck the door. Yeah, they're like, like, what? What's wrong? Like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm clean, like. Like, nah, bro, it doesn't it take that long, like fucking 20 seconds. You're right. Like, like, that's it. But it's important, you motherfucker. It's important. <laughs> not mere diseases. Not, like, man, you got like, you know, you got, like shit all over your Now you're not mm. touching your mm. shit, touching your right sex, and like, oh, what's up, bro? And, like, mm. like, oh, bro. Yeah, it's like, they're nasty, bro. Or oh, they're nasty, man. But yeah, but it's um, that all. Uh, you know, I see. That's, that's, like, that's Psalm 89. The book of Psalms, chapter 89, and uh, verse 14. Since justice and judgment are the habitation of thy throne, wow. mercy and truth shall go before thy face. Hey, judgment, hey, judgment and justice. Hey, judgment and justice go hand in hand. Now I feel like all oh, that that's, of being being hard on somebody, or hey, that somebody's dying. That's that's oh, sad, bro. No, no. I'm saying judgment, bro. Like you, hey, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be killed. 
before you do your world kiss shit. So I could take you out like, all right, if you're wicked enough already, you're taking out right now. Or having this happen to you because you've been wicked. They're like, what they do? And like, especially, especially in our community, man, they're like, they'll see a dude, uh, like an 18 year old kid get shot, right? Oh, rest in peace, he did nothing wrong than that. Right, that. That dude was selling drugs. That yeah. dude was driving all the motherfuckers, bro. Right. Like, he was not innocent, man. It's the Lord took him out. It's for a reason, bro. Yeah. It wasn't just out of, out of the blue. Who yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you. <laughs> no, this is a, the book of Job, chapter four, and um, okay, yeah, George chapter four, uh, Job chapter four and seven. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Where were the righteous cut off? Like, you don't see it, man. Hey, these people, like a lot of people today, man, they like, just hear, like, like, I work with them, they're like, hey, you see, hey, you can't talk like, talking shit about them, like, over the shit they've done, like, goddamn, like, y'all over this. Wicked people, man. And I gotta work with all, like, I gotta work with all y'all. Like, goddamn, like, no wonder I don't like any of you, bro. Yeah. I already told one to, like, listen, like, hey, y'all can die all right now. I y'all can I, 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 I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't shed a tear. Because, like, y'all, like, I know these people are, but they're wicked as hell. They're, they know they're wicked, yet they'll keep doing it. You'll have a, some stout justification of why they do it too. Like, you know what? Hey, this place is home. This place is burnt. If all y'all in it, I'll, I'll go home. Like, all right, cool. All right. Like I said, uh, in Matthew 4 verse 7. Uh, get your get your pizza. It's the book of Galatians, uh, chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hey, man, you gotta say, you do wickedness, the Lord's gonna reward you with judgment, bro. Now, if you do righteousness, Galatians 6 and 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. And what happens is they say, like, you're, say you got an apple, right? It gets, starts getting, uh, it starts getting corrupted, it starts getting old, it starts firing away. And it's basically, it's basically dying. It's, it's losing the, the nutrition. All that leads to mold and bacteria and other nasty shit that can kill you. Right. Right. It says, but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Say, but right. if you do righteousness, if you do what you're supposed to do, hey, you reap life everlasting. So yeah, the Lord is a is a balanced power. And say, if you fuck up, you're you're gonna, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out, basically. Hmm. But if you do righteousness, hey, the Lord will reward you for that, man. Uh -huh. Once in your heart elect. No, and, that, and that's why you gotta. That's why it requires a level of temperance for you to be in this truth, because you you have to be disciplined. And there's a scripture that talk about you know mortifying your members and things like that, because giving into the flesh is giving into pleasure. The flesh is always looking for pleasure. When you eat the type of food you want to eat, hey, that's pleasure, man. You're gonna eat some chips even though it has some harmful fucking substances in it. What you thinking about is the satisfaction you're gonna get from eating them fucking chips. Like you going, you, you know, dealing with these women, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hey, tilting the bottle too much. All of these things is the pleasures of the flesh. And giving in to those pleasures too much will fucking destroy you, man. That's what the brother is going into. You see? And, and that's why the scriptures talk about those things, man. It talks about being temperate in all things. You know, you gotta have like a, a, a level set and a, and, a, and a level of balance and when you're approaching all of these things of the flesh, man, or, or, the, or this shit will consume you, man, to your own destruction. All right, what? Like, I think about uh, drug, uh, people that uh, um, start becoming drag addicts, right? First of all, it's once, like, oh, that's cool, maybe I won't do it, maybe, like, they do it again, yeah. then again, and then again, and then again, because they, they, they keep going to the flesh because they, they want to keep on that high. Yeah. yeah. So it goes from being a weekly thing, and you start doing it once, once in the week, yep. and you do two in the week, 
This is the book of. Were you done? Oh yeah, I'm done. You were done on that one. This is the book of Romans, chapter eight. Um, and I'll start at five. It says, "For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit." So when you're when you're like the brother uh, Babar was saying, like when you're, it could be anything. Man. I catch myself, bro, being on social media, like, so long, bro, that I'd be like, when you try to get down and do a lesson, you'd be like, I'm tired. I don't even want to have this phone in my hand anymore. And you just, because the spirit and the flesh war against each other. It could right. be anything. It could be TV. It could be work. It could be, uh, uh, I'm going to say family. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you put the family too much. You know what I'm saying? It could be a woman. It could be anything. Like the brother said, anything. That really just that, that takes away from the time with the, the uh, 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 you teaching the word, you know what I'm saying, can lean into into being carnality. That's why the scriptures say, "He that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead." When you when you detach from this, bro, you man, just like uh, minute by minute, day by day, hour by hour, you know, you just start drifting away into like, man, the spirit ain't on me to do a lesson. The spirit ain't on me to do this. The spirit ain't on. Before you know it. You out, yeah. yeah, you know, it says, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be. So when you don't have, yeah. when you don't know the law of Yahweh, Yahweh, in the world ignorant calls God and Jesus Christ, you you tend to do things that are breaking of the law. Uh, and that brings death. Uh, yes, a lot of, you know, when in the church they say, oh, you, you don't got to follow the law. Oh, we're going to see in that day, because you're going to be judged out of the law. We're going to see in that day if that is true. When the Lord opened up the book and be like, yo, this is what you did. You, you broke one of my laws. It says, so then they that are of the flesh cannot please the Most High. Uh, yeah, because uh, like the boys go into, uh, you can't overindulge in things, man. Yeah. And if you're a wise man, you'll see the the, the, the bad effects of that overindulgence, man. Like the brother talking about, hey, you eat, uh, you start drinking every day, you're gonna see your gut fucking fucking right. out, man. Yeah. Right. You're, you're gonna see yourself getting weaker, and, you know. You're gonna see yourself uh, being slower, man. You see yourself not getting a good night's sleep because you because you constantly tipping that bottle up, man. You know the same thing with uh, you know with the word, man. Hey, wait, there, there's, there's a place where you can just work and put you in a, in a different uh, spiritual state. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and like, well, let's go into social media. And you spend too much time on social media, that that rewires your fucking brain, man. Mm -hmm. uh, That's why they got these, uh, these, these apps like TikTok and Instagram, man, because that rewires your, your brain to keep on fucking looking for a next little burst of, of, of uh, enjoyment, man. Cause you watch one football, that 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 fucks up your brain so that it it, 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 it requires like a small attention. Uh, 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 you don't got a, you don't got a, a attention span anymore, man. Right. Cause you're constantly seeking a, a new piece of information or a new thing to look at, man. A stimulation. A stimulation. Yeah. That's, that's right, what yep. I want to get into. But but to be a spiritual man requires patience. Calm. You know what I'm saying? So when you read the Bible, yeah. it ain't gonna be like scrolling social media. Cause you gotta sit down there, you gotta study, you gotta break it down, you gotta go slow with it, man. Say so, 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 hey, so, 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 don't spend too much time on that social media, man. That's just fuck up your That's fucking brain, bro. It starts on the fucking with the dopamine that was in your body. Yeah, yeah. Cause you see, it's not looking female or something. Whatever it be, bro, you know what I mean? It has you looking into that shit. 
it, it, it fucks with your uh, uh, the chemical element in your brain, man. Because he's a study that shit, man. And what does the uh, song say that he had made a post of the search of, of iniquity, man? And most of the social media engines are free, man. So if anything's free, <laughs> you're, you're the product. Yeah, yeah, because you know the whole thing. You know, fine bitch. I want to see another fine bitch. Right. I want to see a bigger ass. I want to see a bigger ass. Hey, real talk. <laughs> that, that should have take you down a rabbit hole like that, though, man. And, and one thing it will do, man, you got a woman at home, and how you looking at your lady different, bro. Yeah. It, it do, man. Be like, it, it's it's, harder, like it's harder to be attracted to the, the, the one you with <laughs> when you sitting and looking at that shit all goddamn day, man. You like, look, man, like, maybe tomorrow. All right, that's what you tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's fucking poison, man. Yeah. You, gotta treat, you gotta treat it like alcohol. Yeah. If you treat yeah. too much alcohol, you're poisoning yourself. Well, alcohol is poison. Yeah, it is hey. poison, bro. And, and, and you know Precept. what? And you know what, man? You know, this this whole world is given into carnality, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know, when you when you really look at it, it's it's you and your spirit really against the whole down all the elements in all the world. You know what I mean? That you gotta protect your spirit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta protect your spirit from from what you see, from what you listen to, what you eat, who you're around. All that, all that. You have to like have a force field around you, man, and you have it by the by by the word. You see, you always gotta have the word in you because everything is attacking you, man. You are literally walking, all right. And there's demons. There's just unseen forces out. There's all kinds of shit that 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 want to stop you from doing the word. Right. You know what I'm saying? And and like I said, the damn air is is evil. The water in the freaking, uh, you turn the tap water, that, that water is polluted and evil. Everything is meant in this world to destroy you, man. That's why the only thing we really have in this life, okay, is the word and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's why, uh, if I may say too, that's why you have to provide with your spirit with a good, you're keeping your temple pure, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that goes into what you yep. eat, what you soon. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, the spirit been having me more on that health tip too. Yeah. You know, start buying some supplements for your for your body, man. Because mm -hmm. we're depleted, bro. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of things that our body requires that if we give it to it, we'll make you feel a little better. You know what I mean? We'll make the hell less, man. And that's all. That's what this truth is all about. Make your hell here in America more more of the most uh, endurable that you can possibly be making, man. And part of that is is, is like you, like you read in Ephesians six, right? So into the spirit, man. You know, giving your body what it needs, giving it rest, giving it, uh, uh, you know, even vitamins and shit, man. There's a lot of knowledge within the body that's been going now, man, for your benefit, bro. You know, you feel like shit because of what you're giving your body, too. Yeah. I know that for a fact, man. Yeah. Yeah. It had me, I was, I was feeling yeah. like shit for months, man. Well, yeah. what was I doing? Eating fast food, you know, not exercising, yep. you know, not doing shit that was going to benefit my body, man. And your body's going to feel it, you know. So if you're not doing that in the spiritual sense, well, you're going to feel it in the spiritual sense, too. If you ain't reading enough, you feel that shit, bro. I feel it. Yeah, you I'm do. like, God damn, you know, why am I not? We've been going into that quite often. You stay sharp by being in the scriptures, you know? By practicing yeah. what you preach, man. You know? No, I see it too. I've done it every time I've been in the for a bit, I went on a, on a vegetarian diet. It's like an awful idea back to that shit, No, it has benefits, bro. It, it changes your spirit. It like makes a, you more connected with, with, the, with, the, with yourself and whatnot. So like, yeah, when I was like, doing that, like, our, our core. I've been, I know that I was like a big ass, like a, a big more, a longer attempt, I was able to focus a lot more. You don't have that brain fog. You know, all, all these things, these are created to keep our people down, bro. Yep. And this is the knowledge and wisdom that we're going into that you have to apply to get yourself in a better condition to wage war, man. Bro. You know what I mean? You got it, bro. I know you want to face me. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish right, no, board, no, that's it. You know what I mean? You, you really do got to uh, apply everything that the body's pushing, man. Right. You know, because there's a lot of benefits coming out. Especially on the health tip, man. Apostle Tahar goes into it, bro. Think about it. If Apostle Tahar doing it, I mean, that might be something you want to look into. Improving hey, in your diet, improving in your, in your walk, man. Right? Also, the bar goes into the juices. Of, the of, juices, uh, all that, bro. Yeah. You know, I, I seen a video uh, a few months ago with the bar. Basically, he was uh, he was spending time with some other brothers. And the other brothers, they were they were at the camp. They were at the other part of the farm. And one of the brothers wanted pizza, and the other brother gave them for the pizza, man. Yeah. He, made, he made him like a nourishing meal, you know what I'm saying? Hey, because it might taste good, it might feel good feeling down, man, but what is it doing to your body? Long term. Uh, long term, yeah. You know, gotta think about that. Not only your body, man, but your spirit, because your spirit has to dwell in this body. You know, that's why it's, it's a crucial thing to provide your body with a, a good, 
good uh, uh, environment, you know, a good, uh, uh, like, like anything, like an animal, right? You got to provide it with shelter, you got to provide it with nourishment. Well, same thing with your spirit, man. The things you add to your body affect your spirit, man. Yeah. The, the shit you eat affect your spirit, man. All that. Yeah. Okay. Don't take away from motivation, man. Because try to not drinking water, you know what I'm saying? You'll get dehydrated. No, if you're, if, you know, there's not people like that, man. They're out here and all you think is soda and coffee. That's why they do all fucking things off, man. Yeah. And, and they're, they're just walking around with the hydrate. So same thing with your spirit, bro. Hey, if you're not, if you're not uh, drinking out the living waters, you're going to get spiritually dehydrated. That's right. right. Yeah. When you're drinking soda, bro, what does that do? It creates a hypertension in your body, right. which creates stress. And it's all. It, it's a very complex thing, man. And why do you think fasting comes into play? Because fasting keeps those uh, insulin levels down, man. I mean, where you're not going to get sick, you're not as angry all the time. If you're fucking angry all the time, that's just because you have hypertension, man. You you got too much sugar, too much blood pressure, your blood pressure's too high. So what does that do? It makes you get pissed real quick. I, I even felt that shit. I remember I was getting pissed for stupid shit, man. And it was, okay, well, let me let me check my diet. You start changing your diet, you start adding certain things to it. And, okay, man, the changes are beautiful, man. And also, uh, even the placebo effect, man. If you, if you think something's going to do good for you, man, your body automatically starts uh, uh, using that as, 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 as a way to heal itself, man. It all starts right here, man. The scriptures say, to, to whom, to be, uh, he that is evil to himself, who should he be good to, man? Mm. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, uh, there was these uh, vitamins that I was taking. Uh, it was 102 minerals. It was a uh, 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 burdock root and um, I think it was uh, sea moss or something like that in pale form. Man, I'm telling you, man. I, I, I didn't get sick because I, I usually get, I, I was getting these 24-hour colds for the longest time like this like this you know this is weak my my, my my immune system is just weak and and I started taking these pills man I started noticing the difference like I started noticing that I was feeling strong and I was taking ashwagandha mm -hmm. and so I give this brother some of that I started taking that ashwagandha in the morning man I felt like I could conquer the world bro mm -hmm. get it to work I was kicking ass at work it was like spinach man you know but I got this though. <laughs> This is oh, my like top five brush. Yeah, you know, he cracks yeah, that spinach. Did. <laughs> you know, why? Why does he do that? Why? 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 Because he saw, understood, and he makes yeah. a mockery of it. You know, because he takes that spinach and it gives him that super, that fucking strength. That strength. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and see, that's that's the good thing about see because you know when you when you eat bro. Uh, hey man, I'm gonna say this man. When you when you have when you ejaculate with your woman, man, you never notice how you be like, oh snap, you, know, you don't want to get up or whatever the case. Or, yeah. If you have a lot of sex too, that 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 really like uh, deteriorates your body, man. You see what I'm saying? So what you gotta do? You gotta put minerals back in. You gotta you gotta put vitamins back in, cause that 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 semen makes you strong, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's why boxers, they when you know, and fighters or whatever the case, a lot of guys, athletes, they don't they won't have sex because you know it, it keeps their stamina, keeps their uh, uh, uh yeah yeah yeah. Hey, that's why they want the cycle. All you gotta do is go on YouTube and look at the benefits of semen retention. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's all kinds of benefits, man. It, 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 it increases your testosterone. It, it, even make, it even makes you more attractive to women, man. Right? Yeah. And, and it's got a different spirit upon you, man. Yeah, because yeah, they say bitches know when you masturbate to it, bro. Because yeah. that's what you saw pushes into society, masturbation, man. Since you're a little kid, bro, I remember being in fifth grade, fourth grade, they give you that talk. Oh, if you want to, you know, uh, pull your little thing, you could do that, you know. There's yeah. nothing wrong with it. That's natural. Oh, that shit does a lot of impact to your, to your spirit, man. Well, well, well I'm going to say this, too. You add that. You add uh, no, not sleeping well, not eating well. You know what I'm saying? Not taking care of yourself, and, and that's why that's why you get older, okay, faster. You mm. see what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? This society where we live, like like people don't live past what 65, 70, bro. But by, by the time you're 60, 70, bro, you got this wrong, this wrong. You know what I'm saying? It, it sucks, bro. It sucks, bro, because, you know, the food is, it, man, it, what was it, man? I was, I was outside the other day. They found plastic in, um, in uh, I forget, I forget what it was. I think it was, I think I want to say, um, oh, fast food. There's a lot of plastic in that food, man. It's a lot of it's not, There's also wood pulp in a lot of food. Yeah. 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 A lot of food ain't even food, man. They got this, um, this, uh, this, uh, I think it's tilapia, this fish. There's some dude bought it at Walmart and he rinsed it under the water. He's about to cook it. And he said he squeezed the water out of it. Like it wring it out like a sponge. Right, that shit was small. 
right? It got real like like small. He was like, what the hell? It shriveled up. But then he put some water in that shit got it big. Expanded again. Did you see that? Yeah. That's yeah. Wild. That yeah, shit. That, that shit ain't food. You should eat that bread. And defile among the heathens. So you, imagine you got a sponge in your stomach because you ate that shit. Little pieces of sponge, bro. And that's what happens to us, uh, man. Sick. The, the, these motherfuckers want to kill us. Yeah. You know. And he laces the whole food system because soy, man. That shit destroys your testosterone. And basically what Esau wants to do, man, he wants to have you men emasculated at yeah. health. Yep. That's why motherfuckers be on that very uh, emotional tip. Yeah. You know, because they're eating a lot of soy-based food. They're eating a lot of uh, shit that destroys your, your testosterone. The uh, water bottles, man. You know, even yeah. that where it has a BPA, that shit's a... Uh, it wreaks havoc to your testosterone system. Yeah, you add that to, to, to uh, people out here, you know, exactly the thing, dog. Yeah. Hey, hey, uh, uh, you know, and this brother too, this brother uh, Quanta Wath, man, this brother gave me uh, some honey with some with some roasted garlic, man. Gave some of that to my kids, man, because they were they were they were feeling sick. You know what I mean? And we believe in these things. We believe that the Lord made medicines out of these, out of these, out of these flowers. You see? So yeah, it's, Native Americans do that, man. Yeah. They were, they were really into herbal medicine, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so even our people back in the ancient days, they knew that, man. Yeah. I, I don't know if you want to see that, uh, that, that movie, uh, the, the Predator, where they the Native Americans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, showed, they showed them making medicines out of the earth. Right? Con. Wow. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and both medicines, bro, when they, when they used properly, man, they'll cure anything, bro. Yep. There was a uh, Dr. Sevi, right? I was the, just going to mention him, brother. Spirit. spirit. He, had the, he met the Mexican Fernandero, uh, right? And that yeah. Was, he said that he had a book where he had a, a, a cure basically for everything, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to our people. Yeah, I remember my mom, bro, growing up. She had a tea for fucking everything, bro. To this day, she told me, "Oh, you know, you feeling that way? Take, take this tea, take mm -hmm. that tea." Hey, there's that, there's that website it's called yeah, Rise Out Herbal Remedies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They sell all kinds of teas for all kinds of things, man. Yep. And I suggest folks go get to that. Hey, that's yeah. our culture, bro. Yeah. Knowing the herbs. Hey, uh, uh, the Maccabees, man. There's an account where they were out there in the fields, and they knew what herbs to eat, they knew what not to eat, and they knew what to eat. Mm -hmm. You see? Because we, we we had that knowledge at one time, man. You know, we we we, we uh, had a cure for. There's a basically a cure for everything yeah. and anything that the body suffers from, man. Yeah. Because ultimately, what is anything that you're sick of? It's it's it's, it's a uh, mucus basically right. built up in your body, man. That's right. Makes you sick. And what, what's the what's the cure? Alkalinizing your body, mm -hmm. man. Alkalinizing. We're not help gurus here, man. Right. But we do uh, uh, analyze everything. Because the scripture said, "Be not ignorant mm -hmm. in, in, in any small." Of, uh, what's that scripture? Any matter, uh, greater or small. Get the water. Yeah. You know, in the greatest or in the smallest of, of matters, man. Yeah. You know? Hey, hey. you had a quote, man, that said, uh, avoid what is useful. So Ooh. you better, you better mm. get on this information that you see if you take things that work for you, man. Uh -huh. Hey, as a matter of fact, this dude, um, this dude, uh, uh, Dr. Sebi, he has said that the, the, the Mexican, he's like the Mexican people, the Mexican oh, people, yeah, he right. said they have, a, they have a, one of the most balanced diets. Okay, out of all the people, and that's supposed to show you that the Israelites knew. You know what I'm saying? The Israelites knew, because because you know obviously Mexicans are the tribe of Iskar, they knew about those things. The Israelites, the tribes, they knew that we had the law, the diet, the 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 dietary law, man. Another thing too, brother. Another thing too, man. You 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 know, you notice people who eat a lot of pork, they're they're kind of like real pudgy. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're kind of real pudgy. The, the shrimp. You, you know what I'm saying? Cats that eat shrimp, they got a certain spirit on them, man. I, I, I've seen the people that eat a lot of uh, cocktails. In Spanish, they call them cocteles or whatever. The, you know, the, the shrimp, the the, uh, the uh, crab, the, 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 the octopus, which are all unclean foods, by the way. Those people, they got a certain spirit on them, bro. There's a certain, like, their body type and, and everything about them is, is, is it's off. Hey, you know what I'm saying? It's like this bitch at work, bro. I be, I be, I, I, I give, I be getting like that. I be asking like, hey, so what, what, what wouldn't you eat? I be telling her, yeah. this bitch be telling me that she'll eat anything, bro. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm looking at her and I'm like, well, fuck, like, that's what you look the way you look. Yeah, yeah. there's a certain spirit on people. There's a certain spirit on people because, um, you know, if you're eating unclean foods, you know, if you're, if, if you're treating your body like a dumpster, really. 
You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord said not to eat these things, right? So people eat them, their stomachs become in a dumpster, man. That's why, that's why, brothers, you know, we don't we don't eat pork. We don't eat, you know, we, you know. Now, brothers ain't in the best of health or whatnot, but 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 hey, you're in a better position than those people who consume those foods that the Lord said not to. Yeah, you know? you operate with more carefulness. I got this if I may. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is, it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Calm, calm, brother. Hey, calm, man. Brothers is going in, man. Um, this is uh, Sirach 30. I'm going to jump around a bit, but I'm going to start at, uh, at verse 14. It says, uh, Better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body. It says, Health and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. It says, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. It says, death is better than a bitter life of continual sickness, man. Ooh. Damn. You know, that scripture goes in, man, and, and, and it's absolutely true because you'll have a lot of people uh, that will live their entire lives, man, just trying to chase money and chase the American dream and meanwhile while their lives pass them by they don't ever live in the moment you know what i'm saying they always looking ahead to what it is they trying to reach or what they're trying to get and by the time they they reach it like the brother had mentioned they 60 65 70 years old you know what i'm saying they, they in bad health you know what i'm saying they don't have no energy to go out there and enjoy any anything that they labor for up to that point you see what i'm saying and a lot of people go out and they, hey, some people might get the bag, but what happens when you get Alzheimer's, man, and you lose your, the capacities of your mind? You know what I'm saying? And you can't think straight. I've seen a lot of, you know, I work in investments. I've seen a lot of fucking wealthy ass old people that are about like one day away from having to have their they, they daughter or their they son speak for them, man, yeah. moving forward. Like, these motherfuckers is that, that close, and, and this is. The way that we live, man. But the priority should be your health, man. Yeah. Your 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 body. That should always be a priority in your life. Because if you get all the money in the world and your health ain't right, you gotta spend all your time in a fucking hospital bed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then what good is it? Yeah. You don't even get to go out and enjoy this shit. Hey, hey that's why all this billionaires, bro. How many heart uh, heart transplants yep. and, and all those things have they done to themselves? Mm -hmm. They know that the value of that you only have one of these, you know, you only have one life, so to speak, in this right. society. Right? You know, we, being hopeful members of the elect, hey, we're, we're hoping that we're gonna you know, live forever, yep. okay? But these people that are in the world, you know, their, their trust, or like these rich people, you know, that really have all the money that, they have everything that money could buy and whatnot. Once you get to that level, it's your life, man. How, how you gonna how you gonna spend all that money if you're fucking sick and shit? Yes. You know. You. Or or, or you got all the money in the world, but you can't walk, or, yep. or, or you can't you know function as a man. Right. Because well, 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 part of being healthy, man, is you know being a man too. You know yep. having having life in you, man. Yep. You know, there's a lot of rich motherfuckers. There's a lot of people that end up like paraplegic and they can't walk or anything like that, bro. Yep. That's hell, shit, bro. Right? Yeah. You know? that's, that's trapped. That's being trapped in hell, man. Then uh, I'm gonna grab this one. Real quick, uh, jumping down to verse 25, it says, matter of fact, verse, verse 24, Sirach 30 and 24 says, Envy and wrath shorten the life, and carefulness bringeth age before the time. It says, A cheerful and good heart will have a care for his meat and diet. Mm. See? And, and this is all wisdom, man. You should have care for your meat and diet, the things that you're putting into your body, because it has long-term effects like the brothers are bringing out. You know, that's why we see a lot of our people.